Alrighty, let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear my honest and true voice. Hello, Skiwi, Congo Bungo, 40 Fire, Kyer, Penguin Question Mark, Splitting, Mothman, Jess Long, Mooksy, I Eat Apples XD, Ash Tanga. Thank you for the 23 months. Hope you're doing well, brother. Uh, thank you, Shivion, for the off stream subscription as well. Hello, Sushi, Dodongo, Selsen, Juke, Big Lugi, Little Baby Minx, Po the Cow, Yasami. Mooksy Midnight Nobi underscore the first, Abyssal Spirit, Brand Coco, Box Tofu, Creptine, Ron Emu, Ghost by Go, Cracky Poppy, Salty Marcaroni, Artemis, thank you for the 49 months. Yeah, we're going to be dead before we know it. Time's going fast. <laughs> thank you, dude. Hello, Ron, Gralix, Neko yourself, Duckworth, Heat of Milkwing, I like to paint the 33rd, Rice Cake Versus, Shivian, Joy of Metal, Zundel, Hay Specs. Uh, Bruce Ironstomp, Hoist. Hopefully, I got everyone and didn't repeat uh, anyone's name twice today. Just got back from seeing the Iron Claw. Glad to have an uplifting game like Shipwrecked. Yeah, so uplifting. Definitely. 100%. Almost as uplifting as the Suicide game from last night. Hello, Cherizard, uh, Bird Teeth, Jeff Jeff, Ghostson, Death Race, Linux, Satu, Microtonal Matt, Kilogen, Hand the Badan, Phoenix Link the First. Any thoughts on French Canadians? I don't really think about them ever. Hello, Croactor. Did you play any more of the Suicide game? I was going to. I booted it up and then decided I wanted to go to Whataburger instead. But there is something interesting. When I rebooted the Suicide game, the little midget who hung herself was on the title screen. Whereas before it was an all-black screen, there was a uh, there was a dead dwarf. Weren't a lot of winners last night. Yeah, last night was particularly rough. Uh, probably the worst one in a long time. Hello, Husiver, a raw bagel eater. Saw the image in Discord pretty haunting. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm feeling particularly, <laughs> feeling very haunted by that image. <laughs> very haunted. Very, it's, it's got me uh, shivering. Hello, Ritzier. Hello, Vanum, Galst, Autumn, uh, Hay Specs. Yeah, the last game was pretty good, but I think everyone was asleep or gone by then. It was... I've been spending a little bit of time off and on um, trying to learn how to solve ciphers for this game. And the, it doesn't seem to have helped me. Like, all of my efforts have really honestly done zero to help me figure out what's going on. <laughs> and I, I was thinking, like, God, I must be fucking stupid. Like, I... People are talking about how easy it is to solve this, and maybe I'm just disabled. Um, but last night's game, the last one, had ciphers in it, and I think I did pretty good on that game, given everything, to the point where, you know, out of morbid curiosity, sometimes I'm like, okay, that took me X amount of time to beat. I wonder what the average is. And I beat it in 1.7 hours, according to Steam, and there wasn't a single person doing positive reviews over two hours. So I think I might have been one of the only people who beat it quick enough to refund it. Granted, it's a free game, so I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, hello, Valk, Matoko. But it, it wasn't too bad. The ciphers weren't too awful. Once I, the, the worst part of that game was... Uh, I don't even fucking know. I don't even really feel like there was a worst part. I don't really recall getting stuck too long on any one thing in particular. Or figure out how to jump through the coconut level? No. Uh, hello, not Callista. Siamese, Saxo. Stayed up extra long to watch this. Let's go. Well, don't ruin your sleep schedule. That's one of the worst things you can do. That's You could always watch the VOD. The VOD isn't going anywhere. Uh, you could definitely do that. The bingo shit has made me realize just how many VOD watchers there are. Because I would say maybe like 30 to 40% of the bingos I get come like the day after which i haven't checked any of them yet <laughs> so i'm not ignoring you. i don't usually even look at them until like tuesday so it's it's just me being lazy and also i like to do it all in one go and the deadline is monday night so uh, i don't i don't really check it until oh i hear some some doggies out there Gave up on winning bingo, but I watch all VODs. Well, I feel like last night's was easy as fuck to win bingo. Hello, Pop-Tart. Hello, Inkro. 
What if VOD dies? The VOD, the only time I'll ever delete a VOD is if it's a particularly god-awful stream. Like, it has to be really bad to the point where it's not worth watching for me to delete the VOD. That's literally the only time the VOD dies. Hold on. Come on. You're gonna be barking to be let back out in 10 minutes tops. I had like three almost bingos, but no bingo. It was interesting. Last night, someone asked if they needed to get every square filled for a successful bingo. So someone's been playing all this time under the assumption that you have to get like a full fucking... You have to get every square to win. It is like, no, dude, that's impossible. What was the last VOD you deleted? God. Oh, fuck. Um, what was the last VOD I deleted? I think it was... The one with the police game, but that was just because I didn't want to get banned. Hello, Dampy. I think you said that if someone fills the entire square, you get two bingo points. I don't know if I said that, but maybe I did. My first bingo last night. Hard mode. Yeah, police game. The game where you're playing is a small little man climbing up giant women like into their panties and shit looking for gems. Uh, <laughs> I finished it on Discord I, not too long ago. Um, I, I did, yeah, that one. Uh, it was called The Police Mystery, which was quite an unassuming name for something like that. The Panty Perv game had nothing much to recommend it. Cannot wait to watch Shipwreck 64. Well, I'm eager to play it. I'm out of tea. You know, these inconveniences keep happening. I have maybe one cup of tea left in the pitcher, and I have no tea bags, so. And I have to drink water. Ugh. I think before Police Game is that game sequel where someone hung themselves in the intro. I don't recall that at all. Zed Technician going limp is so sad. Hello, MCK. Yeah, I'm honestly really disappointed that there weren't any fat women in his last two games. Because honestly, I, I'm pretty sure I've said it before. I don't really like the gameplay of those all that much. Part of, Pretty much like 90% of the reason I play those is because of how ridiculous and out of left field the character designs are. So if you take that away, you just kind of have like, I don't know, running through trees shooting Nutcracker Simulator. Hello, Beans. Water, the power of life. It's even better if you turn it into tea. Started playing RS3 and all I've done is fish and lumbridge. Nice. Hello, Rafa. You should not play RuneScape 3. Don't. If you listen to these streams and think, wow, I kind of want to play RuneScape or anything like that, don't do it. It's not worth it. It can only bring bad things. That was their thing and now I'm satisfied. I know. It's like, it's kind of like Vetus ditching, uh the the film all over everything which i guess he did is it the bingo just for fun no there's rewards that are uh described in the discord you can get like discord color changes if you get five wins you can force me to play an indie game of your choice for at least an hour uh 10 games you can force me to play it's the same thing as five except it can be a nsfw game in discord if you get 25 um I will take Sif's paw print, dip it in paint, make her do an autograph, and ship it to you. So there are rewards for bingo. There's a few dedicated motherfuckers who I feel only watch for the, the bingo, and that's it, um, which I respect. I think the one before the police mystery is the short pre-stream you had before you had to rescue Otter from a locked car. I don't... I think... The, the locked car was during Fear and Hunger 2, wasn't it? Oh. Old games are also okay. They're okay, but like they are subject to my approval. It's my discretion. I'm not guaranteeing it. Like If you want me to play an hour of like Superman 64, <laughs> I don't... It's, it's if I'm feeling nice. Uh, Otter stuck at the Home Depot parking lot. Fucking uh, goddamn, man. God damn. I cuz I feel like most of the suggestions are meant to inflict pain upon me. Maybe that's a misinterpretation on my part. 
But if you suggest something that's more in the in line with what I would play normally, there's a higher chance of me playing it for longer than an hour. Used to only watch your old Sunday streams too. I wasn't actively watching as much when you first started the bingo thing though. Yeah, there's been a lot of times where I'm like, man, I should really just stream on Sundays. <laughs> Why am I even doing this other shit? That thought has entered my mind many a time. Hello, Oak Tree. I was chasing Mimi around because he had the zoomies and proceeded to ruin it by flipping onto his back and spraying pee everywhere. You just can't... He's just a little pisser, man. He always pisses himself with excitement. He's a stupid little freak. So Yakamanto Dev released a new game. He released the last one we played from him. Which one was it? Oh, God. I'm having... I think it was the one where you were like, uh, God, I have brain worms. The last few he did were all really good. Uh, it was the one where you, there was like a fucking homeless man living in a cave underneath the house. And there was weird shit going on. And you got, it, it was really good. Jisatsu, yeah. I thought it was going to be dog shit because apparently the name translates to either selfie or suicide so i thought it was going to be the epic suicide indie game this is actually pretty good uh i think like the last three or four chillas games were really good he's definitely on the upswing he's mostly redeemed himself as far as i've concerned his early work was really good uh, his his recent work has been really good there was a uh, a pretty long sag in between those two eras though hello vincent what's up dude Hello, Little Miss Pink. If you weren't streaming tonight, I was going to try Akamanto since you recommended it to me after Nun Massacre. I think it is the best Nun Massacre. Like, it did some things that were different to Nun Massacre that were really good additions, in my opinion. Um, it, yeah, it's great. The name is Suicide Rider with a to record character selfie, was just the translation hallucinating. Have you ever played Final Fantasy Tactics? No. No, I had a friend try to get me to play Tactics Ogre, which from what I understand is fairly similar. But I don't know. I never... Those games never really grabbed me by the deck. Never been uh, a super big fan of that sort of thing. Although... Hello, Richter. I actually have a question because there's been like a random comment that meant nothing in my Discord that I've been thinking about that I want to run by you guys. How many of you play Fire Emblem? Are you are are there Fire Emblem gamers in here? Do I've never played it personally. I heard it described as Persona, but like a lot less weeb. And I was under the impression that Fire Emblem was extraordinarily weeb. Am I wrong? Is that a is that a is that an assumption that is incorrect? Cuz I feel like it doesn't Fire Emblem have like the fucking I don't know. There's some shit I've seen from that game, like the character portraits look very weeb to me. It's less weeb than Persona. Persona is good as all I know. Old Fire Emblem isn't like that. Kind of older ones weren't at least. Okay, so like the weeb shit is a recent addition then. Hello, Ildaka. That makes sense. I know my sister, the closest I've ever gotten to playing one of them is my sister played this mobile one where she was showing me like Christmas Tree Ike. Is like a event thing. So that's about the only experience I have with looking at one of the games. Uh, thank you, Usagi, for the 70-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Doesn't Persona 5 let you date your teacher? Sure does. A medical professional who is an adult well above your age as well. Never played, but the soundtrack's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not dogging on it. Um, I wish I liked those sorts of games. I was just curious because I, in my head, I just had this idea that Fire Emblem was super weeb shit. And if that wasn't the case, I wanted to know because it was shattering my perception a little bit. How a game that you blow into a mic to simulate a kiss less weeb. Is that real? <laughs> Is that a real mechanic? Is that like the holding your fucking DS upside down and playing with your wiener to evolve a squid in Pokemon? That's, uh, yeah, okay, so that's a real thing, huh? That's pretty sick. It can't be real. I wish that was real. Unfortunately, it's fates. We ignore a lot of fates. Hmm. So there's a good chunk of people saying it's fake. 
Hello, third world weeb. Did that to a giant muscle girl. Do you think anyone's ever been caught, like, blowing kisses to anime waifus on, like, the subway? Fire Emblem's honestly pretty good. I love it. There's a really offensively bad 3DS one called Fates. The people who whine about Fire Emblem becoming weeb never actually played the series because it's always been weeb. Hello, Valkuma. I mean, I don't have a horse in this race one way or another. My knowledge of it is basically the shit that was added to Smash. I know there's like some weird chick who turns into a dragon or some shit. Old school weeb is better than new weeb. You think so? Fates that you blow on your love interest when they get out of the bath, it's great. I don't think the older games have waifu petting. Core and Epic, yeah. I remember you used to beat people's asses, including mine, with that character. It seems like an eternity ago, a different lifetime. We were all playing Smash lobbies. Hello, Gumjar. Hello, Just a Gamer John. The actual in battle gameplay of Fire Emblems, what's good? Yeah, I I think if I really like sat down and learned it, I could get into it. Like the Tactics Ogre game seemed really appealing to me, but it just I don't know. I have to be in a very rare mindset to voluntarily sit down and try to learn something new. And when it comes to video games, hello, glitchy bug. Like, I have to say, okay, well, because I, I get frustrated easily if I don't feel like I'm learning it fast enough, which is, a, which is a bad trait of mine. I can't just sit down and I don't know. I, I also feel like lately my plasticity's fucked too. Like, it just takes an immense amount of willpower to voluntarily say, I want to learn something new. But I, you know, I did start trying to research this cipher bullshit. I have genuinely made an attempt to try to figure this out. I haven't been successful, but I've, I've given it a shot. I've tried, I think, four different types of ciphers. Now, granted, I'm not manually doing it. I'm using tools on the internet because I'm not going to do a Caesar cipher and move every single fucking thing. Like, it, it would take way too much time. Probably really like the GameCube one best. She refused to learn new gameplay. Um, it's... I don't know. It's it's less... I mean, I feel like a big part of it now, too, is I do learn a lot of new shit when I play games on stream. Um, I mean, the Sunday games, to be fair to myself, I play, like, fucking 10 to 15 games in one day. Granted, a lot of it transfers over, but... <laughs> play a lot of shit so gotta stimulate neurogenesis yes we gotta we gotta figure out a way you would think that with this massive consumption of microplastics some of that would go to the brain give us more plasticity but apparently it doesn't work that way uh unlucky i was in a beleth avatar for that christmas vr chat meetup beleth is from fire emblem three houses and three houses is the best game tbh did you learn anything from Ichi Zone? I learned that I'm old and impatient. <laughs> I learned that, that I, 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 I'm not willing to sit there and wait 30 fucking minutes clicking like a goddamn chimpanzee in a science experiment. Only happens in the dentate, gyrus, and humans, unfortunately. Obviously, the best one was Therasia. Value your time. I don't even know if I would say that because I play RuneScape. People who value their time don't play Skinner Box dog shit like RuneScape. Um, I don't know. Maybe I value the chat's time a little more. You enjoy RuneScape, though? That's true. Most of the time I do. I'm young and I would not subject myself to that. So, now that it's been out a few days, how's that? Is everyone still loving Pal World? Is it still uh, the best? I've heard that it's like outsold Counter Strike Go or whatever the fuck, and it's sold like gorillions of copies. RuneScape is nice because it's permanent, I think. I'm having a good time with it. I still like it. It's pretty fun. That's good. I made a bunch of bronze arrows on my phone while I watched streams, so that was fun. Sold 5 mil. Yeah, that's pretty fucking insane. CSGO doesn't exist. Whatever the new one is. Only people that don't like it are clinging to Pokemon Spotlight. So, okay, I haven't played it, and I really genuinely don't have an opinion one way or another. 
But I feel like if I were to play it and dislike it, it would be because of survival mechanics, not because of anything pertaining to Nintendo and Pokemon. Um, I don't really give a shit about Nintendo. Uh, I think Pokemon games have been an embarrassment for a while. <laughs> So, it is good that they're getting competition, I guess. But I just can't... It's really hard for me to do the, the survival shit. That that was the big thing preventing me from pulling the trigger, personally. I, I don't know, man. I have a really hard time getting into that genre. Like, I've tried. I've tried Valheim. That was the last one I played. Valheim is alright. I didn't dislike Valheim. It just... I have a hard time sticking to that sort of game personally. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the game. It's just even when the even when the setting is something that I immensely enjoy, like Subnautica, I just fucking my eyes roll into the back of my head and I start making the anime getting fuck face without the drool to indicate that it's not a good emotion. Whenever I have to start getting like thirty five. Uh, thalamite or 15 copper or uh, three seaweed 17 kelp pods to make uh this and then you need three of these and two other things to make the i just don't care <laughs> it's really fucking hard for me to play shit like that i uh, thank you argilla tv for the sub i appreciate it thank you very much they do survival shit irl why do i want to play a game with it came home sick from work to watch this i'm addicted to worms hell yeah Hello, Nurgle. A uh, happy birthday. It's my GF's birthday. Is grandfather Nurgle your girlfriend? The studio that made Powell has an odd list of previous projects, a Breath of the Wild ripoff, an AI game, and a crypto app. I mean, if the new game's good, I don't... It's fine, right? I believe in redemption. It's important to remember that the Garden of Ban Ban Dev makes only good games now. But one of their previous projects that gets wielded against them is a school shooter simulator. But now they're making the Garden of Peak Peak. So you can't... That, that is a little sketchy, I'll agree. I think survival video games are all very pretentious. I've never seen anyone where you hug your dog for warmth. Maybe that's a good thing because if it was in a survival game, some asshole could probably come to your house and kill your dog in front of you, right? <laughs> God, I remember when I played Rust when that first came out. I think it's a lot different now, but I had friends try to get me into Rust, and I just, oh man, oh man, I, I, I really wish that I liked that sort of game because I feel left out in times like these where everyone's playing Pal World. But I just, it's really hard for me to force myself to like something. Hello, Cat Chat. I can appreciate the concept of making exploration more engaging by adding planning to excursions, but survival crafting games don't often strike the balance of careful planning and exploration well enough for one not to overshadow the other. Yeah, I would agree with that. The closest thing I've played to a survival game that I've enjoyed is Outward. Uh, Outward has survival mechanics, and even that, that's still my least favorite part of the game, you know? I really don't feel like the survival mechanics add that much to me. Uh, I've tried to get into Don't Starve. I really wanted to like Don't Starve. Really. Like, I love the art style. It seems like I've, if I could get past the barrier, I would really enjoy it. I've tried playing it with my sister, even. Um, we don't play games together, like, ever. Like, we've played games together, like, maybe three times <laughs> in our lives. And I, I, it's just, I can't, dude. I just can't fucking do it. I've tried really hard, but I can't. Like, I just get so fucking mad when I sit here and plant all of these bushes and I'm picking my berries and this fucking turkey running around eating all of my fucking bushes, dude. <laughs> like, it pisses me off. It pisses me off in a way that I don't usually get pissed at other games. It's not a good kind of pissed off. It's like an irritation. Seven Days to Die is the only one I've really played, and that was mostly just because I had good friends to play with. Yeah, maybe that's my problem. Don't Starve seems like the kind of game that doesn't try to be fair, and usually I respect that. I like that. I play games that don't try to be fair all of the time. The turkeys make me want to commit homicide. Think of it as a turkey dinner delivery. I just hate chasing the little motherfucker, though. <laughs> He's just eating my bears. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me so mad, dude. Even even in death, he is the victor. I could kill the turkey, but he's still got the moral victory over me. 
Be doing the beaver game tonight. Yes, Deidre. What's up, dude? Okay, so I need to do birthday songs, I think. Give me a sec. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Dear Grandfather Nurgle and Beanie 2988's girlfriend 2988. Happy birthday to you. All right. So where were we? Right. We're going to have to do a little bit of, of homework today before we actually get into the game proper. Because one of the things while I was... I discovered some, some stuff out of the game while I was working on the Cypher shit. Uh... If you watched the VOD last time or were there for the stream, there was one part where we pressed a button after jumping off a ledge in Coconut Land. And it directed me to a YouTube video, and I decided to go back and look and see what was on the channel. I was initially reluctant to do this because I was worried about spoilers, but the one that we went to was unlisted. And it doesn't show up on the channel, so I think the ones that are there are meant to just be watched whenever. So I'm, we're probably going to watch those because I, I saw one. Uh, I opened one and the description seemed like it had very useful information. Video watching stream, yes. They're, they're relevant to the game and I think I have to watch these and I haven't. So I saved them for the stream. And then there was a, uh, you know, one that I figured something else out too. So I was working with the cipher, right? The sign that says, let me look at my notepad. K, B, Z, F, Q, 2, Q, P, P, N, 3. And there's another one with the same letters, but the numbers are 1 and uh, 2. And, or 2 and 1. So it's the same sign, but with different numbers. So I've just been fucking agonizing over what this could mean. You would think that Q, P, P, N seems like it could be room. That was my initial assumption, because P, P, two letters in a row, that's not a particularly common thing to see, especially in four-letter words. But try as I might, uh, Caesar Cipher does not turn it into anything legible, whether I shift it 1 through 25. I have tried um, adding up the numbers on both signs to shift it to 4. I have tried individually doing KBZFQ shift twice, QPPN shift uh, thrice, adding them together and running them through an anagram solver to see if any output is legible. Um I couldn't figure it out, but what I did, I, I typed it into uh, fucking um, Google, just out of curiosity, and the dev on a separate YouTube channel, it's not the one we have, has a video from a year ago called KBZFQ2QPPN3. So I have a feeling that maybe I should watch that video, <laughs> because maybe it'll help me figure out well it might it's probably not going to give me the answer but it could push me in the right direction because i don't want chat to tell me i'll ban you if you tell me um i still think they're ciphers but i suspect that maybe the video will kind of give me uh, a shove in the right direction so i don't know um and another thing too if you weren't, I, I talked about this right after the last shipwreck stream. I immediately broke my promise not to play more uh, after the end because I wanted to go back and screenshot the text on the signs to make sure I had everything right so I wasn't working with something uh, that didn't fucking, uh, you know, that was wrong. Because I only had the screenshot of the one sign and I remembered the numbers, but I wanted to confirm that that's what they were. So I went back and I noticed that whatever these things are for, they don't appear to be related to opening these fucking doors. Because I went to the sign, looked at it, the video played, and the door was open. I went in briefly just to see if it worked. It did, and I alt f forward because I didn't want to see what was inside off stream. But it was just open on the current playthrough. Literally just sitting there. I can go in. Um, and then I was curious... Is the other sign door open? So I loaded it again, and I heard a extremely disconcerting noise. The regular soundscape of the game was replaced with what sounded like a 
like an animal eating carrion or something like really messy gross eating sounds but like a scary like it wasn't like a nikocado gross it sounded like a corpse being devoured or something and i wish i recorded it because no one's ever going to believe me that this was a real thing that happened no matter which zone i was in the noise persisted uh but the other door was locked the other door was not open so that's all i did uh and we're the first thing we're going to do is go into that fucking door because I I really want to fucking know what's in there. Mac and cheese being stirred, kind of. And part of me wants to see if restarting will provoke in the game into making those noises again. So hype for shit, right? You don't even know. So that's all I've done. I like I said, I've messed with the ciphers. I don't have a conclusive result, but it appears that it doesn't seem like it's not a code I have to enter to open those doors because one of them is just open, right? It's also really weird that the um, the text is the same on both signs in very different places, and the only thing different is the numbers. I don't know what to make of that. I haven't figured out anything with the uh, LXBCGRR code that the Wendingo was saying, the... Lima, X-Ray, Bravo, Charlie, Romeo, Romeo, shit, the NATO speak. I looked it up and I found this table of, apparently it's a pretty common thing in like ARG stuff to use this NATO speak bullshit, but I couldn't get anything with that. I thought I had an idea because chat told me that between the two R's, there was a significant pause. So the R is probably a separate thing. So it would be LXB, CGR, six letter word with a singular r and i immediately thought there's only a few options that would make sense for a single letter i and a right but uh, you know caesar cipher couldn't figure it out anagram couldn't figure it out so i i have no idea still uh, i'm impressed that people figured it out within like 30 seconds um but I, I am still struggling with this. But I think there's a lot more. I don't need to know this now because there's a lot more to do. How are you, Half Talon? Hello, Phil T. Weeb. I think that's about it. I've been cutting trees in RuneScape, working on my construction skill. That's, that's literally, I think, all that's happened. People out there experience cipher heads. Yeah. Um, I was reasonably proud of myself with last night's game that I, I pretty quickly figured out uh, that the 32, 17, 15 equals bullshit. Like the 32 was in reference to the cipher placement of the letter W. Uh, that didn't take me very long. And I directly attribute that to the fact that I've been sitting here trying to figure the shit thread stuff out. Uh, thank you, Salison, for the 70 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. I was going to start a necro, but I got sidetracked by potion prices. Well, I'm, a, I'm an Iron Man, so I don't believe in this money shit. I uh, chopped, I believe, 768 mahogany logs for a tier 3 grove. Hello, Miyukuki. I also achieved level 70 divination. Apparently, there's a new skill method I can do now. But I, like I said, it takes a... I don't really feel like learning anything right now because of, you know, I did like seven hours of shipwrecked and then last night I had that fucking other game with ARG bullshit. So I feel, my, my brain kind of feels like porridge right now. I'm not very good at this uh, thinking stuff. Not very good at all. Been playing Deep Rock Galactic and most delaying myself from streaming for Aeons again. But thank you, Werewolf. I appreciate the resub. RuneScape is unplayable without the GE for me. So I have the opposite opinion. I feel like... I don't know, dude. I like the fact that I can't buy shit because things like like woodcutting, for example. If you're playing normally and you can just buy all the logs and stuff, why the fuck would you ever cut trees? It's pointless. It feels like you're wasting fucking time when instead you could be killing whatever the meta boss is, like the Hydra or fucking Vorkath or whatever the money maker is that drops a million fucking materials and you a million dollars and you can just buy everything and you don't have to engage with 99% of the content. I like that I actually have to do things in Iron Man, even if sometimes it is... Well, I, I would say in RuneScape 3, nothing has been a slog so far, except the one thing that has 
really kind of actively pissed me off is the fairy tale one quest requires you to get like three randomly like randomly selected ingredients and i got one of the worst ones which was edible seaweed and i had to kill fucking rock crabs for like an hour <laughs> to get them to drop edible seaweed that kind of blew ass but aside from that i it's fine the fucking rock crabs dude i hate fighting the rock crabs I feel like I'm a punk whenever I do it because I don't want to be one of those people that just AFKs on crabs for for a hundred hours. Do one small favor yet? No, um, I haven't. I need to do it. I have 125 quest points at level 70, which isn't too bad. But I wanna I wanna do as many as possible. Like I want to finish all of the quests with my skills and only level shit up actively like combat if i absolutely need to i'm a, i need to do uh fremenic isles next i finally the reason i got into the fort Ferinthi ship was because i needed level 30 construction for that so reminds me of how you eat seaweed to survive at the start of dqb2 i mean seaweed's pretty fucking delicious like i've never went out of my way to buy it but it's really tasty when it's in uh sushi so i wouldn't mind eating just sheets of seaweed it's pretty tasty rs3 is great if you respect your time that's kind of my opinion too i like how afkable it is so i can be work i i got a lot of progress done on gundams while playing that without losing too much efficiency i don't really like how osrs is trending towards the like basically my thing with osrs and i would be called like a shitty casual go back to runescape 3 which i did for saying this but one of the irritating things about OSRS is it feels like they release things way too fucking slowly. And the community as a whole is very against adding new methods of skilling that are interesting and have competitive experience rates with like tick manipulation. Tick manipulation doesn't make a lot of sense to most sane people. But it's like it's essentially without getting into the gory details a way of accelerating uh xp rates using animation canceling by doing nonsense methods like trying to fletch in the middle of mining but canceling it and it resets your mining timer so you can mine faster um and it ends up being like three clicks a second for hours on end it is it takes like 100 percent focus and concentration if you want to milk a decent xp rate out i just don't care like i don't want to do that it hurts my fucking hands bro i would much rather just sit there and have like the afk rock mining and actually have it give good xp rates maybe that makes me a filthy casual but god damn it i don't care <sighs> They want to be able to bot their XP. Uh, thank you, Nani23213, for the 68 months. I appreciate it. I don't bot, and I've never bought it in an MMO. I feel like saying that immediately arouses suspicion, but I, I just don't understand why you would bot things. And The only circumstance where I would even consider it is if I specifically set out to use it as a money-making avenue. Like, if I wanted to use RuneScape as a way to sell gold to people to make real life dollars, then I would consider botting. If I'm at the point where I feel like I need to have a program play it for me, I should just stop playing the game because I don't care anymore. <laughs> Are the rates insane now? I don't know. Apparently OSRS has a pretty big bot farm problem, but I don't know the specifics. Anyway, sorry, RuneScape. We're here for shipwreck, not to sit here and go fucking uh, skizzy mode on RuneScapey. People paying to get their mains leveled a while back. In the yeah, I knew a guy who did that, and I just don't understand why. Like, the game's fun enough to play back. At least back then it was. I don't know how it is now. But back then I felt like the best part of World of Warcraft was literally just, like, the experience getting the level cap. Now it's like... It's like foreplay, you know? Good foreplay is really awesome, but then it, now the meta is just skipping the foreplay. No lube. Go in raw. You know, get the dopamine as quickly as possible. It's not an experience anymore. The romance is gone. <laughs> it's just not that appealing anymore. Uh, thank you, Dissolve, for the 79 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. How are you, dude? 
I want to talk about stuff until we get more people watching the street. No, I don't care about that. I mean, people, if they want to watch, they'll watch. Um, I just uh, need to get the talking out of the way so I could focus on the video game. Very tired all of the time. It's time to start consuming drugs, Jazal. It's time to start popping Addies and Ritalins and Sooties, uh, caffeine pills, Monster Energy. Check out Sethian 2 if you're interested in a language puzzle game. I've heard unflattering things about it, so I'm on the fence, but it's worth a look. My whole body has been mildly shaking all day. You're just so excited for the beaver stream, I bet. That's definitely what it is. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, fuck. I have to mentally prepare myself for this. To actually, like, pay attention. They have to, like, look for clues and be observant. What a miserable nightmare. Caffeine chills me out for some reason. You might have ADHD if that's the case. I'm not an expert on this, but I've heard a lot of ADHD people say that things that are stimulants such as caffeine as well as pharmaceuticals like Ritalin, Adderall, Vyvanse, uh, there's a misconception that ADHD people take it to get like high or buzzed, but it just makes them feel normal. They don't feel like super frazzled and wired. It kind of just like silences the static in their head. And I think caffeine has a similar effect. So you might be a fucking ADHD freak. <laughs> you might be a uh, part of the ADHD community. I've been seeing that uh, tossed around a lot. Like, now it's a community. We're all part of the ADHD community. You get major headaches. See the Parkinson's guy take weed at normalize him. No, but I've heard of that. Absolutely abhorrent evening at work. Now exceedingly pumped for wet, hot beaver action. Coffee makes me tired a lot. I have ADHD and that shit sucks. Wish it worked as well as people thought it did. I'm going a month without Vyvanse now. And I'm a literal zombie. Gotta get that shit back ASAP. Well, I hope you get it sorted out. I've heard that hunting for fucking uh, pharmaceuticals is a nightmare because you get treated like a druggie. Can't imagine. Did you see the Kimiko art, by the way? No, but I saw Trinus made one with Banjo swaddled up in my lap that was amazing. When I said I'm on it, I meant the Spectrum, the Spectrum community. I'm more of an AT&T community kind of guy, if anything. Going to doctors is a nightmare post-COVID. I had to go for something the whole time. They assumed I was after drugs. I haven't been able to get my ADHD meds for a year. I think it'd be funny if we made weed illegal, but in exchange, meth became legal. Well, I don't know about outright legalization, but I think we should probably decriminalize drugs so that addicts who need help can feel better about getting it. Um, I don't know. I keep forgetting people here are artists. We're all artists. We're just painting in different mediums. Some of us do paint. Some of us do digital art. Some of us build uh, epic Legos. Some of us uh, like to helicopter their penises. <laughs> Some of us like to get arrested for public intoxication. <laughs> so <laughs> we all have our different forms of art. Recriminalize all drugs. So I can understand wanting to go after like drug dealers. I don't necessarily agree with that either. I just don't know enough about the situation, but I just don't see a point in, you know, we have kind of a fetish for kicking the people who are having the worst time. Like America hates the fucking homeless, hates people who are addicted to drugs, hates people who need mental health. Uh, just... We really fucking don't like people who have the audacity to struggle. <laughs> it's kind of gross, dude. Like, I don't have a problem with, you know, not putting drug addicts in jail. Unless they're, with the exception, as long as they're not violent. If they're going around, like, tearing people's face off because they're on PCP, that's obviously a different story. But I, I don't see the point in making uh, nonviolent offenders' lives worse. American individual and ex individualism and exceptionalism is a hell of a drug. Someone was talking to me about us talking to me today about assisted suicide, and she said thought it was only for the homeless. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? 
Wow. <laughs> I don't think I would know how to respond to that either. Holy shit. Jesus. Good God. Man. We should pub publicly execute people who drink alcohol like a civilized society. Who's with me? Very fun and interactive shit. Ay, 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 man. Maybe, uh, okay. So I think maybe we should stop talking because like I said, we have homework to do in the form of a YouTube channel with hints about this game. And when I say it's the developer's YouTube, I'm not looking for guidance from game theory. I think we were meant to watch all of this stuff. So let me see how many videos are on here. Um, there are 11 videos, but they're mostly pretty short. The longest one is just under three minutes. Sounds like the platform for a mayoral candidate in my district. He didn't win, thankfully. Can you sing me a haunting Texan hymn? It's my car's birthday. No, absolutely not. It's a time when you could just buy heroin at a pharmacy. Why did we stop that? <laughs> That's what We all need to be on heroin. That's really the problem, right? Okay, so let me get this set up. Like, we can still talk and stuff, but I need to start start getting to these videos. Oh, God. What a fucking link. Hold on. I hate how hard it is to just, like, copy-paste links and images and things of that nature now on the internet. Can I get a birthday song? Sure. Hello, Magnet. <clears throat> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, you silver hobbit. Happy birthday to you. All right. Oh, fuck. oh, shut up. I have to use the OBS browser for this. I'm sorry. So there's going to be like brief uh, glimmers of advertisements. My mistake. I can't have ad block in OBS as far as I'm aware. Okay, so let me... It's probably really quiet. Ten months ago. I can't fucking read that. Hi, I am Wolf Variant. My character ID is 9. I'm the optimistic NPC when writing lines make them positive. I am Wolf Variant 1. My character ID is 10. I wonder... Hold on. You know what? Okay. I need to... I need to... Uh... What does that fucking say? It's impossible to tell what that fucking says. So I'm going to go through these because I feel like there's important information. I'm going to assume that this is extraordinarily complicated. And I'm never going to be able to solve it. So I should assume everything is a clue. Yeah, I see Bucky Beaver, but he has... Okay, I wonder... If I were to screenshot this and run it through like a fucking image alteration program maybe maybe i could make something out why not try to enter this room in game i could i could it's the little rabbit area there's a lot this is one area i haven't explored a lot of but i'm so i think that the character id stuff is important i really do and I want to make sure I know what color wolf is what ID because there might be a point where we need to know the IDs of like the main characters and things like that. So I, I, my mind is telling me that this is important. Okay. Brown wolf. Brown wolf ID 9 optimistic. I don't think optimistic matters, but just in case. And the gray wolf ID is 10. Hold on, I should probably full screen this, huh? Console to turn off the timer. Well, I'm 99% sure I figured out the timer based off of another video. So, I said he was, did it say he was variant 2? Wait. 
ideas nine optimistic when writing lines make them positive wolf variant one okay so so brown is two all right i don't know we should we should definitely write that down just just to be thorough but character id god damn it oh my god okay you have to i mean maybe we can go here in game and see what these signs say no wait 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 that one that one was almost legible no not that one the one before it says i see it says oh my god okay Try to run here in game before doing. F yeah, I don't have a program for that, so I will. I will do that. Maybe I should just. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is he hitting? Okay. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, it's one, two, three, four. I'm assuming that's bullshit. Anyone able to download this video and contrast blast? I mean, I could do the NVIDIA control panel and contrast blast it. Okay. He's opening the chest. We'll stop after this video and see if we can go in here in game. Because uh, I we should probably focus on one video at a time. This is telling us a specific place to go. So... But then again, I don't think my save will let me go here. I think I've done this part in my save. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. He showed up at the door again. I don't know what to do. Something. Hold on. I I can't hear this. I have to turn my my end up. Oh, we've heard this. We heard this in the tent. So this is who she was calling. This <laughs> starts playing again. Okay. Why is there a random hand? Because it, it's meant that it, it's... Oh, no, no, no. Fuck off. God, YouTube is actually insufferable now, huh? Okay, well, I guess I guess we'll just go ahead and see if we can fucking figure this out then. Is this screen recording? Yeah, it's like a DSP recording where he just has the camcorder pointed at the fucking screen. No ad block. OBS browser doesn't have ad block. I'm not. Oh, it's a little loud. Okay, sorry. I had to turn it up because the the browser was so quiet. My mistake. Okay. All right. So we're going to put a pin in what we just watched because I want. I really want to see what's in that door that opened. We can't see. Hold on. Hold on. We need to get everything. Juggling windows. Okay. Should be able to see now. Everything should be okay. Was that you? What? Was what me? The alarm shit? That's just the noise the menu makes. Drop to YouTube at this point? Well, no, no. So, let Okay. All right. I feel like I explain this every time, but I don't watch YouTube ads often. I don't watch ads on YouTube. I have ad blocker, but my problem is I don't particularly want to use my normal browser in case there's personal information or something like that that people find. Um, although I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. People have everything already, but it's just like a security thing because I don't want like, oh shit. I accidentally opened a tab with my fucking insurance ID or something like that. So I use the OBS browser to avoid any any snafus like that. And it uh, I don't know how to disable ads. I am 
completely comfortable with just, you know, muting it and putting it off, considering that I almost never watch YouTube videos on stream. So that's why I have the whack ass set up for that. I could get another browser with ad block, I guess, but I don't know. I'm fucking lazy. Every few months, people say Google's ruining... No, shit has been happening. I have had to... They, they have been motherfuckers lately. <laughs> like, the last month, month and a half, they I have gotten this thing where it says, like, you have three more videos that will let you watch before uh, we turn off YouTube because we've detected you have ad block. And it's been, been worse than it ever has been recently for most people. Uh, they change, there's like an arms race between ad blockers and YouTube where there's even a fucking website that you can go to that checks to see if they change their, uh, the version of their anti-ad block to compare it to your ad blocker. Although I've had, I, I have heard that there's things like using a VPN to make it think you're from Serbia or some shit. I don't know if it's Serbia or Albania or some fucking country where ads are illegal and you can just not fuck with it at all. Okay. You block origin? Yeah, I've I, that has not been my experience at all. It doesn't work for everybody, but my U block is is had a lot of problems. I have to update it. Like I had to purge the cache several times. They removed that feature from U block, by the way, because so many people had to do it. That <laughs> it was co it was costing them an immense amount of bandwidth apparently. So this is the sign and this is the door. We haven't seen what's behind this door, so let's go ahead and take a gander. I don't know why this is open. I have no idea what caused this to be open, but this kind of it almost appears like the stairway in the video that the weird rat man is running down. Welcome to the pool. It must have something to do with the fact that I killed this woman on this playthrough. Because I definitely did slaughter her. There's this welcome desk over here. Oh god, what a nightmare. They know what you did. What did she do to you? Nothing, but I wanted to see if something happened if I killed her, and something did indeed happen. There's a clock up there. I don't know if I've seen that. It seems stuck on a specific time. I wonder if that's important. How'd you unlock this? I have no fucking idea. It was just unlocked from something I did last stream. It was the same run from last stream where I got stuck, and I got softlocked on the Wendigo in the woods. You think this is anything? This kind of looks like the loading screen scrawl. I'm pretty sure it is, but it looks a little differently colored. I mean, I know what it is, literally. It's it's just panning through the, uh, the buildings in the distance outside. Okay. Welcome to the pool. See those weird antenna? Those are windmills. They look like antenna, but they're windmills. I'm pretty sure. What the fuck is this? Okay. So there is indeed a pool, but it's not exactly what I was expecting. There's a break in one of the windmills. Let me go see. I didn't notice that. I see what you're talking about. There's smaller ones on the others, but that one's completely severed. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, also, if you didn't watch the previous shipwreck stream, this is not going to make a lot of sense. Like, what is happening right now is going to be virtually incomprehensible. Uh, like, what I'm trying to do. It's a huge-ass worm-like puzzle game thing. So... 
I, I apologize for that, but if you're having trouble keeping up, it might honestly be best to watch the VOD. Um, but if you have questions, I'll try to answer them. It's just hard to... I'm surprised there's a save point in here. Okay, uh, thank you, King Respector, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. This is important because we watched a trailer on Steam that had a bunch of areas we couldn't access. This is one of them. This was one of the areas in the trailer I, I hadn't been able to figure out how to get to, and it's strange that there are, like, shadow houses over here on the side that I can't get to. Watch. Oh, I mean, it's confusing even if you know mostly what's going on. I guess the only way it wouldn't be confusing is if you've... Wait. Code is ECDC. Okay. That feels like it's relatively important. A code is ECDC. My favorite band... What is this digital interactive con? Okay, so the the summary of this game from what we know so far is this, there. When you boot up the game, it says that there are two versions of the game. Uh, the game is Shipwreck sixty four, which apparently in the lore of the game, a version of it was released in nineteen ninety seven, but was shortly pulled from shelves due to disturbing content that isn't exactly expanded on what like why, but it, you just know. That there's something in the game that caused it to be pulled in 1997. And the other version of the game is the one that you can play when booting it up. Which is a fan-made 2023 uh, remake of what it should be like without the offensive content, I guess. And so you play through the 2023 one. And when you do, you unlock the 1997 version with all of the fucked up content in it. And that's what we're playing right now. Um, this is, as far as I'm aware, this isn't anything you can do in the, the 2023 version. That seems like you're supposed to discern the piano keys, and then it's like a... I don't know. Hot cross buns? Is that a code? Good catch from Oak Tree. What is hot cross buns? Remember playing that with a recorder? I've never heard this in my life, so maybe I should... Wait. What is that? homeschool moment yeah a song all beginners play on instruments i don't remember doing that on the piano but I, my piano stint wasn't very long steam yeah it looks like there's something over there in the waterway but we can't really get a better look at it okay wait hold on i, I would like to go back See, there's more shit over here. There's a part of this room I can't access yet. Since this area is not usually accessible, like, you have to do something that I'm not entirely sure what that something is. I want to spend time here and really see what I can find, because I might not be able to easily just come back here. I have a good idea what lets me get over here, which is killing the Otter Woman. But... I don't know that for a fact. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. Okay. All right, that's Chief and I guess ID, NPC ID 10. Wolves, no, that's just, that's not just any wolves. The, the one in the yellow is the developer of the game from what we understand. Chill man? All right, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I should I shouldn't uh, shouldn't get excited over anything that happens. Okay. What does this button do? Is 
It didn't seem to do anything, but let's check the other rooms. Hmm. How to zip to that place from last stream? No, I think that was genuinely a bug. I found an alternative way to get to where I was launched to, but... Notes of hot cross buns are E, D, C, E. Okay, let me, let me, uh. Let me fucking put this on. Because that's, oh god. It's interesting that it says that considering the fact that the code is E, C, D, C right here. And it's using the same things that are in this hot cross bun. Okay, I'm not... I have no idea what this is a code for, but I'm gonna... Will that song play if you leave the room? And EDC at the end? Okay. Thank you, musical people, because I don't know shit about music. So this would be really hard for me to figure out. Also, what, there was one last thing I figured out off-stream that I wanted to read really quick. Let me... It was actually on the description page for the uh, the game on the Steam store. Game with multiple layers, endings, many areas to explore, yada, yada, yada. The last thing says, Controlled decay, which will slowly break every level of the game depending on the actions of the player. So I definitely need to have a run tonight where I allow it to go through all five days. Because I don't even think I've made it to day four. Let alone day five. It seems like you would actively have to try to let the game go on that long. Uh, thank you, Kostya, for the 13 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So that's... Wait. What? Oh. I feel like... This is really important. But I can't fucking see the front. I kind of want to see the front. Maybe it isn't, but it looks like a model of the island. Oh, wait, hold on. I can kind of see if I get a certain camera angle. I have to intentionally... Yeah, you would have to intentionally fuck up over and over again. What's going on, Ezekiel? There's something over here, too. Hold on. There's another house over here. Note the house formation? Yeah, maybe. It doesn't... Like, I don't recall the houses being arranged this way anywhere that I can recall. Because, uh... I mean, this might be this area. The area we're in right now. This might be inside the mountain. Maybe. I think it's too early to tell. I need to keep going. Let me backtrack a little bit to the prior room, though, just in case that button did anything there. Okay, so it's a pool room, and we can see from these windows that there is another room over there. It's It's got, like, uh, you can see that there's shit on the other side, even though on, on this wall there doesn't seem to be a door. Do any of these cameras, have these monitors, display anything different? Hot cross buns be referencing if that's the song. It could be... I, I don't know. I don't know. I need to... Uh... Does that clock actually matter? I don't know if that clock moves. Hold on. I'm screenshotting this for my little evidence. Oh, this is... That's what the button did. These doors are open now. Okay. Because if... I'm trying to be very meticulous because I don't know how I got here. So I'm trying to make sure that I really understand what action results and what outcome. So if it's kind of painful to just me... Like, watch me spend 300 fucking years in these rooms looking for, like, the little gory details. 
I think it'll be worth it. Okay, so this goes to the pool room. This is like that steam we saw in the, the gate. Alright. So, one thing to note. Okay, well, that was easy. That was an easy secret. What's going on, Kaicho? I was going to say, I don't know how to get to the adjacent room. There's a waterfall going up. There's untextured old trees, so maybe you should surmise that this is some sort of, like, beta or debug room. I should try hitting every single one, because one of the only objects that has actually reacted to the punch are coconut trees in Olive's level. Yeah, I do want to go back to the Walrus game, and I want to get back to the first video we watched this stream that showed a secret area in the rabbits level i don't know the rabbits level i don't recall if i've done it on this playthrough or not are there breakable walls not that i've seen there could be but i'm not everything has been logical so far so i'm not gonna just like hit every single wall right okay so this one's a code this has to be... Alright, hold on. I have an idea for this. Let me see. Um, I have to scroll through all of my schizo garbage. Give me a second. didn't seem right so what i tried there is there was the thing earlier that said the code is ecdc so i was going by their position in the alphabet so e's the fifth then c which is the third then four then three again so i don't actually know what a successful uh, attempt on those keypads looks like that didn't seem successful to me I doubt it but can you try three four three five okay I think it's about the notes that yeah it could be it could be the uh, the frequency of the occurrence with the notes. I think that might have been what Oak Tree just tried to get me to do. Hold on, let me zoom in. So if I look at this and it's the hot cross buns, there's three E's. Wait, no, hold on. Okay. So the code is ECDC. So there are three E's in that segment. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three, seven. Uh, seven C's, I think. Let me double check. Yes. D. D wait. There would be seven D's then, too, right? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so then if that were the case, and you're going by the occurrence of the notes in the Hot Cross Bun song, then there are three instances of E and seven of each other, I think. Unless I fucked something up. Maybe I'm, I simply can't count. But let's try it. Maybe, you know, fucking fuck it, dude. That's not three. That was it. That was it. So shout out to the people who fucking uh, told me what the note sequence was. Because that would have been a miserable nightmare slog. <laughs> Otherwise. So, okay. 3777 really didn't seem right, but... And, okay. Now we're in here. Wait, let me... Oh, shit. Want anything from 7-Eleven tea, please? I don't have any tea. Uh, 
not cross buns relevant in adult life? I'm not forgetting that door up there, but I want to see the rest. It's getting pretty labyrinthian. The amount of, like, different paths in this one fucking door is significant. There's a lot happening here. And this, this definitely does look like a test area to me. And I'm trying to think if this reminds me of any other area in the game. Like, it's a beta version of a separate area sort of thing. Alright, just being thorough. I want to I wanna see what's ahead, too, but I need to make sure I don't... Because there's been really small things that would easily have been missable. Like the sign in the, the woods. The keypad in the woods. That one part of that one building where it clips just out of the skybox and you can see a house in the distance. Kind of like... It is most similar to the walrus level, but it's not quite like this. But I'm also assuming that this is... Olive was in the beginning of this sequence of rooms, and I think we got here because we killed her. So I think for now it would be safe to operate on the assumption that this has... something to do with the otter character. The other characters we've seen here are a random civilian wolf with the main dev wolf. What was the trick for the code? Okay. So the trick for the code is there was a thing that said the code is ECDC, all right? And then the order of musical notes in the song on the recorder was E D C E D C C C C C D D D D E D C. So you count the occurrence of E. So how many times does E play in the sequence? 3 and the rest are 7. Uh C and D notes both occur 7 times and since the code is ECDC it's three seven seven seven. Uh, so that is that is the the logic for that puzzle. Where are we? The smells atrocious. We should leave. We should save. Yeah. We don't gotta walk back. You can open the menu and hit respawn. And we'll be on our merry way. Has that been a thing? Are you stuck? No, but he really doesn't want me to go in here. Presumably because of that monitor. Okay. I'm torn because I feel like something will ha- Oh, fuck. This is rough because there's more to explore in several of the prior areas. I'm gonna go back for now. This is extraordinarily interesting and I'm not trying to blue ball you, but there's more we need to see before we make a choice here. And I'm worried that making a choice here will lock us out of being able to go back and see the other areas. Because respawn not, not might actually respawn us. It could do something else entirely. My balls. Now getting over back to this waterfall is going to be a pain in the ass. We're going to have to do some platforming nightmares. My balls. Are, we'll get through it. I, 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 I want to test everything. Right now we need to operate under... The, uh, we're not trying to win, we're trying to learn as much as possible, and skipping entire rooms is not conducive to that idea, right? We know the code here. Is there anything through there? Can you even make it? I'm actually a god at platforming at this game. I made it into some fucked up places that I really shouldn't be able to make it to. So, made it to some pretty suspicious areas. I spent like 10, 15 minutes last stream trying to platform up the lobby. Tolo knows how to edge a stream. It's just like I said, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm not 100% sure the criteria to get back here. And doing the events that lead me to unlocking this place might lock me out of other things on a different playthrough. So I want to explore this to the fullest extent that I can. Because it might not be so easy to get back. 
And if I can get back, even if it's that easy. See, like, I haven't even gone in here, have I? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is this? You know what? This sounds like a great time for a piss break. Did you miss me? Wow, so this has already been a lot. <laughs> it has already been a lot. In just a small span of time. Okay. The label says sheet music. Hello, this is Wolf. I was using one of the silver tech computers around the place. And would you look at what I found online? There were just sheet music everywhere. So I could just take one print it off and play it on my piano. <laughs> Lovely. I found this one song I want to try. It's called Hot Up. Alright, so that's a hint for the musical puzzle that we solved. That's not... That is important, but not for us. Okay. So we were meant to be here first. It basically gives you the answer. I mean, yes and no. If I heard that and I didn't know the hot buns thing from the chat, I would not have known what the fuck he was talking about. I thought when I heard the recording that it was piano and the notes were important. Uh, especially since it was a song that repeats notes. But I, I, I didn't have knowledge of that song. So... That is definitely something I would have had a lot of trouble with if I had to find the name of the song. and Because I understand the structure of the puzzle, but I wouldn't have been able to get the notes and everything or know the song name. Hello, Nacho Man. Crave was taken. Another locked door. I have a feeling we're going to be playing this game a lot this week. <laughs> There's so much. It seems like every single time we make progress, like 17 fucking new things are added to the mix. Okay. I need to try going out of bounds in this place as well as exploring everything with a fine-toothed uh, beaver tail. That appears to be yet another locked door. Keeping it I have a pretty good internal memory for this stuff most of the time. I do have fuck-ups, like me thinking there was only one code door, but I have a pretty good recollection of the locked doors. There's one in the town hall, there's one more in the uh, the living area with a whole bunch of houses. Uh, this is one, this area was a locked door. There's two in here so far. Holy shit, is that like a giant version of the beaver? Notice the game silently updating files. No, I, I have a suspicion on what that's for because the settings menu in this game is actually something that holds secrets because of course it is. We went and checked the settings and there's an option that toggles an online functionality that says that you might be visited by somebody, like a special guest or something to that effect. Uh, and I turned it on and made sure to allow my firewall. So it should work if that means that it's possible for the dev to connect and fuck with me. Um, 
that should be on. I double checked. The firewall is allowing it. So. Now, I think that that is probably not going to happen if it is what we think it is. It could simply be a trigger for another event to happen. Like, there's no multiplayer, but it's simulated. I'm convinced that that's the case, though, that he can connect to your game because he... The dev has made multiplayer Garden of Ban Ban fan games. Also, another thing I figured out is apparently the dev of this game is only 18 years old. And I fucking, you know, forget carving statues. How do you make something like this at 18, dude? Like, what the fuck? So. Yeah. He has a very bright future if that is indeed the truth. This is one of the most compelling games I've played in a long time. Probably since my house, I would say. And I was, I was saying before, like, even if that last stream we did was all there was to it, that would already have been an insane game experience. That alone would have been really good. But there's just so much fucking more, dude. <laughs> it never seems to end. We need to figure out a way to platform up here somehow. So I am very thrilled that uh, that I started playing this. I wasn't sure what to expect, but this is this is a very amazing game so far. How far are you? I don't know how. Like, okay, so here's another thing that i want to get out of the way this game's been out for a month and in early access even longer so there are absolutely going to be people who know the solutions to things do not tell me i will probably ban you if you give me the answer to something if you're genuinely like trying to figure something out that's one thing but i do not want the answers i am probably not going to listen to that many suggestions either um so i don't know how far i am J bait okay so let me go over the things that are dead ends. There's two locked doors in here. There's a locked door in the wolf's area that I believe leads to the outside area over there. Um, there's all of this shit, obviously. The connecting areas, like the, the little room where Bucky was telling me to go back. There is a phantom castle with a giant version of the Wendigo in the Wendigo woods way out in the distance. It's like shrouded in fog. There's a keypad in there as well as a sign pointing two directions that I still don't really understand what to do. In one of the areas after you kill the squirrel character, there is, you go to like this building out in the main area that's normally on inaccessible where you can talk to the wolf who's revealed to be the dev of the game or at least the lead dev in the in-game universe, right? There's one corner of that building that just so slightly clips out of the skybox of the main game area that you can, it seems like a bug at first, but if you look out, there's a giant house in the distance, uh, shrouded in fog, similar to the big area with the Wendigo that I previously mentioned, right? Um, there's a lot of shit I haven't figured out in the coconut game with the, uh, otter squirrel whatever she is olive um namely you can uh, there's like a door not a door it's a fence you can jump over sometimes i don't understand because nor under normal circumstances there's an invisible wall preventing you from jumping over that's the normal intended route to get through to the area that i did that insane clip on on saturday that area had a door that led to a place that said B time equals one and a keypad, which would strongly suggest that entering the right code would disable some element of time, either the progression of days or the timer in the mini games. I suspect it's the latter because there's a lot of shit hidden in those areas. Um, there was also a little house that was on fire with a portrait of a man. Now, the perplexing thing about these two things is when I managed to jump over the fence, neither of those anomalies, I guess, were there. The door was not absent, and neither was the burning house. Um, if you jump off the ledge in a way that the steam trailer 
tells you to. There's a button that links you to a YouTube video called like Dancing in the Dandelions or something to that effect. That has a circled area of one of the black ziggurat structures past the wall. I suspect that there's something there that I have to trigger by going up there and I accidentally triggered it by being launched the first time and that's why I saw the burning house and the door that leads to the time area. All right, you following so far. In the Walrus's mini game area, there is a man standing all the way on top of the geometry that looks like a cloaked figure that I have no fucking idea even how to begin tackling that. I suspect maybe there's a way to get the little fish hook thing to bring you up there. But I do know there is a one-time event that you can do where if you go backwards through one of the doors, you end up in this weird, like, honey tunnel thing that I did not make any... I, I dawdled too long, and it seemed there was a timer, and I got yanked out of it, so I need to go back and see what's there again. Also, of note, when we kill the Olive character... Sometimes in some areas she shows up as a zombie NPC that follows you. And in the area in the woods with the Wendigo, she approached the Wendigo and then the Wendigo started like speaking in NATO. I don't know if those two things are necessarily correlated, but it was a hell of a coincidence. I haven't seen what happens if you do like the default ending where you escape without going through the volcano. So there's one just normal ending I haven't done. I have not seen if anything changes on day four and day five. Um, I don't know. So the wolf's name in game is Chief, and he is a representation of Connor. Uh, Olive is a representation of Olivia. So it, it's fair to say that all of the characters have like a real life version. Um, so I don't know what the walrus, the goose, the rat or the beaver are. There's four major NPCs whose identities that I am not, you know, hasn't been told to me outside of the credits. I think the credits does say it. Uh, can you kill other NPCs? Sometimes. Sometimes. The only one I've been able to kill is Olive during her mini game. You can slap her to death. And you have to immediately start slapping her for like the entire duration of the mini game. So, yeah, it's a little complicated in this bitch. <laughs> you guys following? It's a little bit confusing. There's a, there's a lot happening, and I'm sure I've forgotten a thing or two. I think, yeah, I think I need to pay more attention to the credits. It seems like JD, the dog pit bull, like, rat character, appears to be the antagonist that has murdered at least one of the real-life equivalents, which is Olive. Uh, of the characters so it seems to be uh there's like a real life quote-unquote parallel happening uh it's notable that the jd character is not part of the cast and seems to be described as like an interloper of some sort maybe a super fan and there's a recording of him like beating the shit out of olive or me i don't know i'm not sure i thought you i i don't know skewy it could be either or but it, it's interesting that the ending that you get from murdering Olivia ends with a frame of that character, JD. It's also, he also is the only one with an abbreviated name. Poor Olivia, yeah. <laughs> There's, like, at least 10 videos on the developer's YouTube that are uh, not unlisted we need to watch. One has already pointed to a pretty significant secret that we're going to do after we explore this branch to its fullest. Hello, Colonel Martyr. thought it was the beaver in the, the video that was on the wall in the game level. Have any cheat command hints like my house did, like no clip or something? I am not aware of them. I just recently found out that there was a menu. I don't... I'm assuming that was there, and I just never tried it. So if I failed... I, I tried my best to explain everything. Uh, but may have missed a detail here and there. I think that the fact that you can kill a character and it appears as some sort of apparition that follows you out like throughout certain parts of the game is 
a big clue. I'm thinking there must be ways to kill other characters, but I don't know that for a fact. I'm having a hell of a time getting on the rocks here. Maybe if I had some eggs. That is assuredly the beaver, right? It has his stupid little hat. Also, yes, there's things in the trailer too. I haven't been using the third jumps. There's a, if you wait for the opening song of the game, like if you sit at the menu screen and wait for it to loop twice, weird haunted shit starts happening. And in the trailer, it shows him getting out of the boat, like simply getting out of the boat and leaving. I found the former trying to provoke the latter. Oh God, we're doing this again, huh? Okay. Uh, anyways. So there's something with the title screen I still haven't puzzled out to. There's a lot of areas in the trailer I haven't even seen. Hello, doofus. I think we're, we've made good progress today, but there is a lot to do and find out. Okay. Has this been a problem? Yeah, it's been happening like every stream. I don't like having follower only mode on, but I, I'll turn it on just to stop the spam because it's annoying as shit. I might be able to triple jump bing bing wahoo. Okay, that worked. But there's invisible geometry out here that seems like it's gonna prevent us from getting to the windmill. That's fine. Uh, we should still be able to find things here. Okay, so... Unless I'm blind, there appear to be four windmills here. I suspect the windmills are important somehow. I don't have any proof of that besides gut instinct, because a building that is the highest point in the main world with six windmills on top is featured in like the loading screens and shit so it seems to be a place that we really want to get to okay it doesn't look like i'm going to be able to get over here let me try going the other direction now an interesting thing to consider is there's well no there okay so if we exclude jd as an interloper there are five main characters, the beaver I'm playing as, the goose, uh, the otter, the walrus, and the rabbit with the stumps for arms. And if you count the chief as one of them too, which is an insert of the dev, that's six. I don't know if that's important. That could definitely be looking, looking at things that don't really have any importance. But for now, I'm just going to keep that in the back of my mind. That there are six people who are apparently involved with the making of the game. And one who is not supposed to be there, which is a seventh. Do I sound like a schizophrenic? <laughs> Go on schizo mode, dude. I think it's important, though. I think it really is, because the game even says it's deeper than you think, so I'm assuming that it's going to be maximum schizo mode. Okay, so there's these buildings over here. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to access them by just walking over here. These buildings are super preval prevalent throughout the game. They're very important, and I want to know their secrets. About the, no, there's been no other mention of the female bunny so far. Hmm. I think there's something to this, but it could just be... like The fact that there are invisible walls here at all... Wait, wait, what is that? What is that? What is that? Do you see it? All the way in the background, there's something that's there, but it's very faint. It's very obscured by fog. I swear I'm not on drugs. 
I can't tell what the fuck it is, but there's something there, and it kind of looks like a doorway or like a cave. It almost looks like there's... It's hard to tell. It looks like some sort of house, bunker, hill with an opening in it. I can't see it. It's there. There's definitely something there. I don't think it's a trick of the... Uh, the camera or anything like that. It could also be one of these buildings. Maybe that's how you get into the other area? I wish I could get like a better view of it. Like it's really fucking hard to make out what's going on there. Okay, I think that angle is the best I'm gonna get, so I wanna screenshot it. Uh oh. I might have fucked myself here. I'm not sure it's gonna be so easy to get all the way back up. Okay. I mean, I can always watch the VOD. It seems like it's... It's unique because the other fog structures, it seemed pretty apparent what we were looking at. But this one seems to have... It's like a... I don't fucking know. Like a backward C? A D maybe? There's something over there that looks like a letter to me or some manner of symbol. Okay. I see a heart in the middle. Uh-oh. Why is his hand there? It's the edge of the ground terrain, too. It could be a variety of things, but there's a reoccurring theme of weird anomalous objects being way the fuck out in the distance. That's the third one that I've seen. Uh-oh. I thought I managed to... Wait, could it be? Okay. So it looks like he's pointing at something, right? That's an odd gesture. Maybe not pointing. It's hard to see his hand. Giant beaver is... No, it kind of looks like he's presenting something or welcoming something. Which, coincidentally, that fucking distant object in the fog is roughly in that direction. So maybe that's telling you there's something yeah. over there. I want to go back the way yeah. I came to see if I can yeah. get a better yeah. angle on that object. Did you discover anything? Yeah, there's another fucked up thing in the fog. There's gotta be- I have a suspicion there's gonna be a way to, like, get some sort of developer debug tool or something that allows you to, like, no-clip to this shit, because there's no sensible way to get over there. Um. Load screens that move you to different islands? Maybe. Are both locked doors truly locked? I don't know. Um, I haven't opened a, a door that has a lock on it, if that's what you mean. I'll try it, but there hasn't been an instance of that happening. 3D model ripper. I don't want to do that. I don't think that would be necessary because... Oh, here's another thing that I neglected to mention. I tried... One of the first things I thought of is let me look in the files of the game to see if there's any hints. There were two important things I found. A bunch of unencrypted movie files that seemed like you could just watch those if you were so inclined. That I didn't. And, in addition to that, a note that seemed like it was going to have pertinent information. And it said, uh, I'll read it verbatim. Look at you, clever, clever. But as sad as I am to say, this is not where I'm hiding the game secrets. They're elsewhere. I like your line of thinking, but you're off by a wide margin. So when I read that, I immediately assumed he was talking about a website or something. Because he doesn't state that they're in the game. He says they're elsewhere. Uh, good night, Kami Cat. Thank you for the 87-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And that is definitely the case because there's a YouTube channel with a treasure trove of information. I don't know if it goes beyond that. I would say it's looking likely at this point. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> I bungled it. 
Oh, no, no, we're good. And now that I know there's a respawn. Wide margin, world wide web. Yeah, I mean, maybe some word association. Um, the YouTube channel falls under that regardless, though. I feel about uh, ARG elements in a game. I like them, but I feel personally a little frustrated when I come across something like... Uh, like the musical puzzle. I would have a lot of trouble with that. I probably, honestly, I don't know if I would solve that without chat being able to spell out the, the notes. Like what the notes were. Um, I like them in theory, but sometimes it's it's a little bit of personal humiliation. I need to work on like getting better at ciphers and stuff for the future. I need to become like a... need to need to get some... Uh, I need to become a vampire and find someone from the Navajo Nation or some shit, you know? I need to absorb that essence. Puzzle Master Tolomeo? No. I wish. Bet there's goodies in those unencrypted videos. In that one YouTube video, I strongly suspect that you can use image enhancement software to contrast different shades of white to see text that could be useful. I'm not going there yet because in that video, those signs were in a, in a hidden debug area that appears to be accessible in the actual game. So I might be able to just read the signs if I go there. I don't know if I can get there in this playthrough, though, because it requires not having finished Stump's little quest. Handbook? I mean, I found, like, a little cheat sheet sort of thing on the internet. I still had a lot of trouble finding out what those signs meant until I found out that the developer has a YouTube video that is just the name of the signs that I have yet to watch. I saved it to watch with chat. I want to do as little off-stream as possible. And the problem with this sort of things, this sort of game, is when I get into something like this, I am thinking about it like all fucking goddamn day, um, and I get I get antsy. Okay. Sorry, I'm I'm updating my little. My little images folder. Okay, we've spent a long fucking time in here. I'm sorry. Let, just let me make sure the doors are actually locked and then we can go. Rounded the entire perimeter here. Yeah, yeah. I think what we were supposed to find there was that object in the distance. I think that the guy gesturing to the general direction of it is proof of that. I just don't know what to do with that at this point in time. I have a feeling as we play there's going to be some sort of revelation as to what you do with the distant locales. Making an easy to find website to dig around in is cool, but mandatory random YouTube vids and Audacity. Yeah, the Audacity sound map shit is rough. I think some of them are okay. Like that that note thing, I immediately thought, oh, this is musical notes. This is important. Um, there's something to this. I couldn't. I didn't have the musical ear to determine what those notes were, but it's been fairly logical up until this point. There hasn't been a lot of just like outrageous. Uh, uh, nightmare stuff. But this game is advertised as something that's meant to be a community effort on the Steam page. So I can't feel too bad if I'm not capable of just single-handedly figuring everything out. Because I'm a gamer. Okay. If I recall correctly, there was another door down this route that I need to explore before going back to the pool, because the pool seems to have like an actual substantial choice. I don't think I want to save. I believe it was up here. Oh no, never mind. I'm on drugs. This is just the pool room, right? Okay, I got my my Wait, did I get my shit flipped? Oh, it just links back. Okay. Hello, chicken nugget scoon. Did I miss big breakthroughs? Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty, uh, as far as these games go, pretty action. I don't know if the music changing is important. There's been a lot that's happening. You get this area to begin with, by the way. I don't fucking know, bro. 
So it seems that the only way forward that I'm aware of is the little place where I blue balled you earlier where we have to either continue or respawn. Uh, I have decided that I'm going to continue. I gotta see what's in that fucking room. If the beaver is the murderer, then he would have a vested interest in us not seeing that room. I'm not convinced he is yet, but it's, he, it's either him or the dog. Or both. So we should probably not heed his advice or take it at face value. Okay, so here we are. When we came here initially, blue rat, the blue rat is a dog, I think. I don't think it's actually a rat. It's hard to, it's hard to tell exactly what it is. Okay. It says the pool. Interesting. That's what I, th I had an idea, but I wasn't going to say anything. Those other locked doors in the big grass field, you must get them through the other characters' routes. There are three, and there's going to be three here in the walrus. I, I'm, I bet you anything the walrus is going to be at the end of this tunnel. Sure as shit. Okay. It says the diner. It says the dam. Okay, so the dam and the diner are places, routes we haven't gotten to. And I guess at some point, this is going to be like an area that we are going to need information from all of the routes to actually do anything here. I'm not going to press any buttons yet. I'm actually genuinely surprised. Can you please listen to me? My friends are in danger. And you think now's a good time to explore this dump? Hit the respawn button. Use your damn head. That's... Interesting. The duck said that too. The goose spelled damn that way as well. And I, I wasn't sure what to make of it. But... Now that we know that there is an area in game called the dam, that could be a clue. Okay, hold on. I have to get sick. She's making noise. All right. Might just be a pun too. It could be. It's just weird that this it's like a likelihood of association. There's an area called the dam and a misspelling of that of uh, dam like five seconds, one after the other. It seems too convenient. All right. So in this room, there is a save point with the loading screen and a wolf, as well as a TV that has an image I have not seen. Or a computer or whatever it is. I think that was the wolf that was walking with the chief through the sewer tunnel. The dam is also level had the big face. In the yes, that's true. But I think... I don't know. I don't know. Fifteen, fourteen... Wait. Do I just have to hit them all in a row? Wait. Interesting. Okay. Okay, you see it, right? Normally, these are just timers, but they're actually, like, digits on the screen. Text at the foot of the TV in this room? I think it's just, uh... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the computer company we tried to find a website for them and i i wasn't successful hmm, maybe it's a code i think so too i just want to all right since you can't is it four nine two three the other two 
What is this? It's doing something. 492, or, oh, hold on. I have a silver tech. What does this one do? There's like some fucking object. Is that from this button or is that just there normally? Like, I, I think I need to pay close attention to what's going on here. Okay, so if I do these. Is this like a... There's like text there or some shit. You see that on the on the? Oh, I think that's just from the underneath the controller. Terrain gets generated. So let me do this. Come on. I wonder if you have to line everything up. Four nine two three. Like line them up on top of them. I'm not sure. So. Four, nine, two, three. I'm actually genuinely surprised it was that simple. That means something terrible is about to happen. Key delivery. Thank you. You're welcome. What's up? You good? Yeah. What did I miss? A lot. No, did you, <gasps> you made it to the testing room? Mm-hmm. I just solved the code too, so I'm going into a new area. Hey, that's that scrolling thing. Yep. Are it's... you able to read the text in here? What do you mean? Like, you know how in the video you couldn't read the text? Because it was like on the white background? Oh, this is not the testing area. No, this is oh, a different what... one. No, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Okay. My bad. Should I save? Hi. What brings you here? Are you lost? You should get back into place. I don't think I should press that yet. Holy fuck, what is this? It's a note from Cogware. Whoa there. This room is designated to staff only. Feel free to hit respawn. Connor. Co okay, so that's Chief. That's the wolf. So something sinister is definitely happening here. I feel like the save is not a good idea. Cheat. Well, yeah, he says it too in the. Okay, this opened a website, cogwaregames.com. So now we have the website. Interesting. Okay, I guess I can go ahead and we can look at this on the browser really quick. Cogware Games was originally an idea that three friends out of Silicon Valley had one night, founded by Connor Thomas, Elizabeth Baker, and Harry Waters. We are a collective of fans of the new and thriving world of gaming, and we put innovation at the forefront. Notice there is a contact at cogwaregames.com. We are going to have to keep that in mind. I bet you there's going to be something where we have to get an email response in order to get like a code or something like that. With our first ever demo of the game Blunder Cover being a hit with crowds over at local conventions in 1995 and a thriving partnership with Broadside Animation Company leading to the creation of the Mangificent Shipwrecked, we won't hold back on getting our hands dirty with game development. After all, that's where the name comes from. Every cog in a machine has to be working together to create a meaningful result. It's weird that he told us to get back in place like we were a cog just now, right? We here at Cogware are in it for the players, and for moving forward, we've dabble, dabbled very heavily into three-dimensional graphics, working with top-of-the-industry professionals to create worlds with depth, color, and life. Did you know? The game engine used to create our games is called Unreal Engine. It's the same program to create the shooter game by the same name, Unreal. It's licensed to us by Epic Games, but it's soon to release to the public. While we make games that are bright and friendly, you're not getting a squeaky clean experience if you play a game from Cogware. Instances of adult humor and some edge to our games are all present. We believe that games should be not designated to a single demographic, but rather shared among many demographics. We don't make kids games, but we also don't make adult games either. Think of us as a fine line in the middle. Let's keep innovation at the forefront. We can make some amazing things together. Okay. Shipwrecked is a game de developed by Sakogware, partnered with the Broadside Animation Studio. Bucky and his friends need your help. 
After a sudden crash during a routine fishing trip, Bucky ends up on a mysterious island where his friends appear to be apprehended by a pack of wolves for disturbing the peace. Embark on a puzzle-based adventure as Bucky wanders the vast island of Nola Terra, helping his friends work off the damages, fix your boat, and get back home. Made for the new Nintendo 64 console and powered by Unreal, Shipwrecked is a game that puts you into the shoes of Bucky's imaginary friend. Okay, so that's our place. In, okay, that's why he talks to us before he goes to sleep. We're an imaginary friend. As you must help guide him back to his homeland and maybe meet some friends on the island along the way with fun puzzle-based gameplay structure, many endings, and dynamic gameplay, you'll never wind up with the same playthrough twice. This game would not be possible without the wonderful partnership between us at Cogware and Broadside Animation who helped fund the development of this game, as well as providing reference photos and even making a full... Com okay, Broadside Animation's commercial. That's interesting, isn't it? Hold on. It seems like the commercial is uh, just the intro screen. Like, I, there is something on YouTube from one of the devs' you, uh, YouTube channels. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the same, but maybe we'll watch it later when we're doing the other one. Just keep that in the back of our head. Copyright is 1999, but the game is pulled three days after release. The picture is a link, is it? Let me see. Oh. I know you can't hear this very well. I'm just showing you that it's, you know... Because this is this plays when we start the game, anyways. Okay, so there's that. I also am curious about that other game that they had mentioned. Um, let me hold on. I guess I should probably bring that back. Oh God. Okay. Wait, hold on. There was text there too. Give me a sec. Maybe the text was important. Developed for the Nintendo 64, ship is a game. Okay. Wait. Playing small mini games with his friends is a way to free them from the island in the midst of scary monsters that roam the forest or little rabbits that like to dabble in the arts. There's no shortage of fun stuff to do in Shipwreck. When it's over, the game has many different endings you can explore, many different possibilities to see. For this project, Cogware has been brought on to assist with the development of the game, making models, programming sounds, music, and even some voiceovers. The game is very much a narrative experience. While maybe not as action-packed as Banjo, Mario, or most other platformers, you will really have to use your brain to move Bucky closer to his happy ending. Designed to take full advantage of the Unreal Engine, Shipwreck demonstrates many features that keep the game running smoothly on consoles, allowing for fun and freeing experience. We encourage exploring. Maybe you'll find something once in a while that you may not have noticed before. Every playthrough is a new adventure, after all. Okay. So, hold on. People are saying A. A, B, C, D, E, F. Click that A. I don't know if it's that A. The A in the rabbit's link. The other A? Hold on, hold on. I'm, oh, 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 I see it. I see it. I didn't even fucking realize that. Okay, yeah. That's the dog creature. This is not good. I don't think I've ever met a man as pathetic as you as the tax. Let's... Hold on. Give me a moment. I feel like this is an instance where it is going to be important for you to hear, but I can't turn OBS up without making the background really loud. So I'm gonna turn the desktop audio up really high so you can hear what's going on here. Okay, I don't think I've ever met a man as pathetic as you. 
What are these? These seem like a... What is this? This looks weird to you too, right? Like this little line. Like there's nothing like it. Um, hold on, wait. Can I like... All right, if I were to try to like copy paste this somewhere, it doesn't seem to give me anything in spec source. I don't know if I could do that on the OBS browser. Uh, hmm. The limitations of OBS. Hold on. Let me. What is the. Uh, Give me a sec. One moment. This is what makes the line at the bottom. Okay, let me let me save this. You know, this reminds me of something. I don't know if I'm I'm big L what? And the background, hold on. So it's called Starling Nathan, the, uh, the the first image that was linked, the little face that repeats at the bottom. It's this. This is the image that repeats. It kind of looks like he's He-Man says, hey. And then there's Gary BG. Which... I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be seeing here. It's that's that one's kind of hard to make out. Okay, so we have Starling Nathan and Gary BG. I okay. Wow, this is a lot for this one little area. This fucking video, man. Look at that thing. Anything to the right on the page? It looks like there's room to scroll. It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Wait. There's still more I need to do here, actually. I don't know if it's going to let me go back, though. He has a beaver tail, but maybe I'm crazy. He's blue, though. Like, he's demonstrably blue. Hold on. I need to refresh this. Blunder cover. Blunder cover. Cogware. Broadside beach blunder cover on Game Jolt. Oh, my God. Okay, um, holy shit. It seems like we have another game we're gonna need to play, too. There's so much, man. There's so much to fucking do right now. Is that an actual game? It would appear so. Let me make sure there's a download link for it. No, there might not be a download link. It could just be... Okay. This... Wait. You know what? Hold on. Opening the browser again. Let me turn the fucking, turn this one back down. All right, so game is for mature audiences. This is what it looks like. A brilliant new addition to the Cogware family, Blunder Cover 64 is a game that is being produced in honor of the wonderful Connor Thomas. As it was his first ever game, I, wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? That makes it sound like he died, doesn't it? Maybe not. You were Detective Howells, a rookie at the Sun City Police Department. Search the premises of five exciting missions, interrogate the surrounding folk, and solve the mystery before the trail runs cold. On July 16, 2022, we released Shipwreck 64, an archived emulation. Oh, okay. So this is from the group that, like, remade this so this isn't something that was this isn't pertaining to like the a release in the 1990s but so it, i guess it could be assumed that connor died before the 2023 version 
July 16th, we released Jetpack and Archive Emulation, an older game under the same name that was slated to release in 1997, but was pulled due to the savage imagery in the game itself. Recently, we received an email from someone we believe to be an ex-Cogware developer here to deliver us another game that is similar to the previous. The Studio Grounds Vandal. Wait. Hold on. Dancing in front of the Studio Grounds security cameras after spray painting slurs on their walls. It does seem like it's a gopher thing. It's not a dog. Okay. Have you seen Vandal? If you have, send your photos to Bulletin Toodle Oo. We don't want our game to show actual cold cases if you search it. Whoops, sorry. Okay, listen, there are a lot of them over here. You gotta be careful. Please be careful. Don't insult his aim. Dude, if this is like an N64 shit, it's impossible. Download this game. There didn't appear to be a download link. I can check again. But I need to get through all of this first. Red circle was used to point out other shit. Not even a crosshair, bros. Yeah, you need to put the Cheerio on your fucking thing. Okay, wait. What do the comments say? Love the new name. What the fuck? I maybe shouldn't read the comments. Finally, if any creepy stuff happens, we will be able to shoot it like a true American citizen. Finish. I think I finished the video. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Um. What about this? It seems like it's kind of. Oh no! It's just this. Okay. Okay. Wow. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Holy fuck, dude. No, it just links back to the same game jolt page. Camera moving could it not have been an accident. The game's a bit loud. Oh, shit, is it? My bad. Yeah, it is very loud. My mistake. Sorry, I have to balance it because it's one thing's really fucking quiet, the other's not. All right, Jesus. Little gold things. It says silver tech. It's text that doesn't really materialize until you get close to it. One of the first things we did yesterday was we noticed that and tried to find a silver tech on the internet. I feel at this point, if that is something, that it will be linked to us. Because all of the websites and YouTube shit has been uh, more or less fed to us. Hey, Bucky. What are you doing here? You've got friends to save. Go do that. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Fuck, I feel like we've been in this room for like an hour already. Absolutely look like directional buttons. Yeah, I pointed that out too. It's just, it's hard to tell. You know what it could be? If you look at it like this. 
there is this is actually the exact same format that we decided the Wendigo was saying, which is six uh six NATO callouts and then a singular one spaced out from the rest. Which would be uh L X B C G R space R. So I don't know. That's probably reaching. But that's what that reminds me of. It is also, I think, perhaps pertinent to note that that does not line up with how many characters Silver Tech would be if those were individual letters of that. Does the first red button do on the far left? Uh, it, it, like, adds terrain to this. I'm not sure what the fuck I'm supposed to be getting from this. There's a big X in the Vandal video. Does the wallpaper have a face on it? It kind of looks like the eraser head baby. Oh, I mean, we can review the side a little more. But I kind of want to see what's down this hall, too. Just keep the side as something... Because uh, we can access that at any time. That's not like a... We don't have to go to this computer here. Maybe intentional to be those exact seven. Yeah, it, it's a bizarre coincidence that it's the same amount of characters and the exact same formatting as what I have for the Wendigo callouts. It's a note from Cogware. If you really want to go down there, well, then feel free. Just be warned. Connor Cogware Games. All right. Save first. I feel like saving is going to kill us. Okay. Because now I can't go back and see what happens if I immediately respawn like he tells me. Bucky. No, Bucky suggested that I leave and then save. Okay. Okay. Well, this is fucking... I need to screenshot this. Was that the Vandal? No, that was ID... Character ID 9 Wolf, I believe. Hold on. I need to make my little fucking screenshot thing bigger. I know I'm ruining the tension a bit. I'm sorry. Okay. So, it's weird... I wasn't expecting the little rabbit with the stump arms to be saying stop now. But also, what the fuck is this? I don't... Like, this is not... It's the beaver. Like, that must be his little hat, right? It's gotta be the beaver. It's the only thing it even looks remotely like. But I don't know what the third eye thing on top is. So the beaver and the rabbit with no arms are both imploring me to stop. None of this is making any sense. I want to go back to the island. I want to go back home. Is that not why you're playing? He's mad now, huh? Look. We can do this, but whatever happens, that's on you. Am I clear? Good. There's a blood stain there. Okay, so let's... The label says... I'm, I need to... P-K-G-J-U-J-B. It hit her before she even knew it was coming. It started with loud screaming, reduced over time to mere croaks. Any will to swim away slowly drained away as she sunk down further into the water, polluting its natural color. 
the rodent stood a few feet away, watching the effects of his actions. And only began to walk away when she stopped struggling. Okay, so I'm 100% sure the rodent referred to as me because we saw this and when, uh, when we hit that woman and we killed her twice, we got that little bit where he's like, okay, all right. Oh, good, some light, we'll need it. Oh, fuck, dude, we've got a candle. Could, could... Could I take this back? No. Okay. We can get that out of the way. You cannot you cannot smuggle candles. I'm not sure what purpose that would have served, but it does persist in here. Okay, no, maybe. That means that there's like a like an integer is fucking hit where your character is like candle equipped and you don't have to do it again. So maybe there are other areas where it'll show up if it is dark. What does the sign say? I thought I interacted with it. I guess, you know, you're right. Okay, X, G, L, more ciphers. Alrighty. Okay, really quickly, give me, uh, give me just one moment. I swear it'll be quick. Just pretend I went to take a piss. I'm just checking something really quick. Interesting. So I ran it through the website where it just like tries all the shifts of Caesar ciphers on this. Nothing is necessarily legible from what I can tell, but on the PKJUJB, there is one called Ogitia. That's Olivia with, like, that's really close to Olivia, who is the person who was murdered here, I think. So perhaps if I... It, it seems close. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm not going to look at chat for a few minutes because I don't want answers to the cipher. But I think that's oddly close to the name Olivia. It doesn't matter at this moment, though. What the fuck is this place, dude? Okay, so there's giant stone walls surrounding. Hmm. Let me make sure everything that like, you can see in here all right. I'm gonna turn it up just a bit. There's another door at the end here, but I would like to see the entirety of this little area first. Okay. The blood goes... What the fuck? What happened here? The blood trail is strange because it kind of like leads to do two different places, right? Like it goes here and then it forks to this house. I don't know if that's supposed to mean something. Almost everything has actually meant something. And I hear weird noises in the background on occasion. What happens if I just go in the water? Okay. Just gotta try everything. Alright, let me open chat back up. Just didn't game is loud okay let me turn it down a bit silly jump noise scared me each of these formations it houses is supposed to mean something it's possible 
I was thinking that, like, maybe this means that there's, like, a basement or something. Please turn it back up. Feel like you're missing stuff on the website for the section? All right, I'm gonna close chat for a bit. I'll look at the website later. Maybe I am. Uh, okay, so that sounded kind of like a coded message. I want to at least like go through the areas like once on my own before people start like giving me the answers. What is in here? Lying. They're lying. Cogware games. There's a fucking. Oh God. Okay, well, we might as well save now. I want to know, just for curiosity's sake, if I can go back. Like, I want to know if there are points of no return. And I also want to know, if I stand here, is that what triggered that strange noise? Okay. So let me go forward a bit. Alrighty, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to take a piss, because I really have to take a leak. And then I guess we'll, we'll comb through the website again to make sure we didn't miss anything. Okay, so let me go back to the browser with... What, what the fuck was it? Cogwaregames.com? Okay. I don't know. I might have to do, like, some inspect element shit, which I can't do in the OBS browser, though. So let me look at it on my actual browser. You won't be able to see for a moment. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not very good at the inspect element stuff, though. I haven't really fucked around with any of this stuff. I think I saw someone mention there was a weird thing in one of the videos. I'm guessing it is probably past the point where you click the A in rabbits. Yeah, I might, I'm probably going to need to be spoon-fed this. Okay, so what am I missing on the website? I don't get it either. Convince me it's Pringles time. Inspect element. Damn, you must work at Microsoft. Yeah, basically. Because I'm not seeing uh, anything that, that's obvious. We got the faces. We got the video. I don't think I've met a man as pathetic as you. What's going on, Parallax? How are you, dude? Uh, thank you, Jazzatron, for the 46 months. Appreciate it. Good morning. Somebody, I think we will have to email the address. I, I guarantee you that's not there for no reason. We are going to have to, like, there is going to be a puzzle that involves us emailing that address. 100%. I just don't know what to email them yet. Like, I imagine there's going to be some sort of prompt that would, like, strongly suggest that that is the course of action. Um, 
like maybe yeah like slam dunk i think that's something like you can set an email account up for args where if you email it something specific it like a specific like body it'll automatically reply with whatever I have to wake up at 4 a.m so i'm shit but getting catcher stream is a good this is going to be completely nonsense indecipherable psycho babble because this is an extremely fucked puzzle ARG game that we're like over 10 hours in at this point. What? Oh no. Oh no. We can hide. So there's text here. There's this little thing. It says they're lying. What? There's something with the dark blood. I don't understand what it is. But there's... There's gotta be something to that. It seems too deliberately placed to just be random. Like this one on the bottom kind of looks like a line... I'm just not sure how I would how I would go about deciphering that, you know? There's a half arrow here. I mean, maybe it's nothing. There just haven't been a lot of nothings in this game so far. Pointing under the bed it is, but I, I think it means up here. Okay, follow. Oh boy. Look me in the eye and tell me. Uh-oh. Eye, not eyes? Yeah. We know one character who only has one eye, and that's Chief. So there's a locked door over here. I'm going to that computer last. I want to see if there's anything of, of another locked door here. And a regular door? Small hole in wall. I think that was a tree clipping through. Emphasizing I might be a puzzle clue. Yeah, definitely. Jiggle the handles on all of the doors. Okay, there's an unlocked door and a computer. See now, like we've progressed into this run far enough that I'm I'm I feel like it's about to end. So I'm worried and I want I'm trying to think which way will give me the most uh, progress. Let's see. What the fuck is this? It it is a website. It opened a website. Let me put it in the browser. A Helping Nub by Stumbler and Wolf. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. About the authors. Stumbler O'Hare. Stumbler O'Hare is a rabbit and an artist at heart. Growing up, he had been a massive fan of arts of many different forms. In the process, he began to experiment with art on his very own. He took up painting as his favorite form of artwork. He had painted. Lots of artwork, some of which would even be hung up in the Nola Terra Theater. One day, however, Stumbler was hit with a life-changing event which had left him without arms. A rabid wolf had attacked him, and while he did get away, he had to live his life without hands at all. However, he is still an amazing artist at heart. Stumbler will be responsible for the drawings in this guide. Look who has one eye. Chief Wolf has dedicated his entire life to helping his fellow wolves who live on the Nola Terra much like himself, he lives in the outskirts and t is typically found guarding the island, keeping it away from harm. He is responsible for the capture of Bucky, Walter, Olive, and Giovanni. He wants nothing more than to help his fellow citizens. Wolf will be responsible for all the writing and research portrayed in this document. There's a cipher guide, huh? Where am I? Layer 3 is where... Oh my god. Okay. Layer 3 is where you are right now. And as you may know, the island is... No, I didn't fucking know that. 
Layer 1 is the island outskirts and any attached missions. Layer 2 consists of a pool, a diner, and a waterway. And now you're in Layer 3, the Land of Darkness. That's okay, though. If you come properly prepared, you should be equipped to either venture even further or keep yourself safe. To open the gate to move to the next zone, locate and charge the computers to 3-3. Three, three. Once it's open, find the gate control and turn it on. I was going to say, I am not entirely certain what that means. But I was thinking all the, the goose, the walrus, and the otter's route, there's three of them and they lead to a computer. So you probably have to, like do all three of them in one run we only know how to do one um that is what i am interpreting at the moment but i don't really know candle the candle is your most important tool in layer three you are completely in the dark but that's okay because your candle will light the way once you pick it up you will have it for the rest of your time here it will light the surrounding areas keeping you aware of where you're going just know however when you leave these areas you will no longer have the candle you won't lose it. it'll come back when you visit next but you don't need it if you don't need it you won't have it so the number one thing i want to see is if this means uh, is the wendigo layer three Because it says layer one is the island and the surrounding quest, but like layer three kind of looks like uh, the Wendigo's area. So maybe this kind of implies that if you go to a different area where it's required, you'll, you'll have it. Uh, computer. Visual of a silver tech prime. Computers are a very prevalent thing to come across in layer three. Silver tech has graciously provided us with these computers which we have stocked all around the place as a good way to share information with newcomers like yourself. If you're reading this, either a friend has shared you the link to this or you found it yourself through a Silver Tech Prime computer. Press the big red button on the front when you find the computer and you'll be able to learn brand new things about Layer 3. Golden computers, however, will need to be activated with the timer. Once they're on, you'll need to find each of them and turn them all on before the timer hits zero. I'll try to leave a map as to where to locate these computers. Dwellers. Visuals of Olive and Giovanni. It's not exactly a, uh, a flattering portrait of those two characters, huh? Dwellers, also known as Starlings. Starling Nathan. Wait. Okay, so that... The, the three we know about are Walter Walrus, Giovanni Goose, and Olive, but there's Starling Nathan. Nathan's the blue guy? No. I don't think so, because they all have, like, this alliteration thing going on where it's Walter Walrus. Uh, Nathan Naked Molrat? Maybe? But it, I, it doesn't really fit with the type of animal he is, I think. And he's also JD... He's called JD, so it would be assumed that his first name starts with J. Name of the guy in the website? Yes, I know. I know, but what I'm saying is, like, there's someone I think we haven't found. Oh, okay, you're not telling me. You're telling... Yeah, one of the previous things mentioned is Starling Nathan. Okay. Donning the faces of Bucky's own friends, they will wander around the dark searching for any unfortunate little beaver who happens to stumble into their path. So they're not actually the characters. They're like skinwalkers. Awakened when Walter, Giovanni, or Olive are brought down into Layer 3. So that's confirmation that you can... When we kill them, we bring them to Layer 3. And we can probably kill Walter and Giovanni. They will stalk around in the dark, eventually making their presence known. You cannot rely on your menu to keep you safe. Look for a barrel to interact with it. To hide away while a dweller may follow you around in Layer 3. That doesn't mean they won't try to follow you elsewhere. Stay alert. You may not be as safe as you think. If a barrel or any other object appears to be off or moving, repeatedly hit it until it vanishes. Okay, I'm screenshotting this code. When captured by a dweller, you'll be taken to a small room akin to that of a prison cell. Little do they know, however, your little rabbit friend knows the code. If you're trapped, the keypad of the exit will be 7418. 
Remember that? If you wind up there, you need this to escape. Beaver scratch. Just kidding. Beaver scratch is a language that's used by many, many folks who reside down here in layer three. To speak in beaver scratch, you want to firstly take your sentence. For instance, I miss having arms. And now once you translate it, you'll get a very simple translation of J N J T T. Okay. All right. So that seems like this is going to be helpful for uh, something we've been having a lot of problems with. If you need a sentence translated, feel free to send me a sentence to stumblerohair at gmail.com. cipher guide so these areas are a little complicated i wanted to leave a guide here that helps you translate non-beaver scratch send the, no the quick brown fox hold on the quick brown fox won't work because look because you you're thinking it's just a shift but it's it's oh maybe it is you know what you're right you're right maybe maybe i should do that but i feel like even this I, I misaligned the characters. I thought it had two different ones. So I was reading about another cipher that's... I, I was convinced was the solution at one point for this because it could make it to where, like, the same letter could be encoded differently through different parts of the sentence. Oh, God. What was it fucking called? A Vigineer cipher? I think. But let's read this. Let's read the cipher guide. I wanted to leave a guide here. This one's a doozy. So first you need to identify what it is you're trying to get. There'll usually be some kind of text saying code is X, 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 X. Now, usually each of those X's would be replaced with a respective letter. From there, you need to listen to audio somewhere and count the times a word begins with the letter. What the fuck? For instance, APFT would be our combination. Let's look for A. It's a wonderful day, friend. Apparently, when it turns tonight, the sky turns purple. Amazing, ain't it? That means A would be four. Okay. Now, same logic. Let's get P. It's a wonderful today, day today, friend. Apparently, when it turns tonight, the sky turns purple. Amazing, ain't it? P is one. Okay, so that's what... It's the Shakespeare cipher. Mozart cipher... So once for you, you'll need to start again by identifying your data set. You'll usually know when you, you've got it when your data set consists of letters entirely at the start of the alphabet. For instance, D, E, F, G. We did this. We, we did this earlier. Okay. Picasso cipher. That's right, friends. It's an art-related code. So to say I'm happy is a bit of an understatement. It's my time to shine. Some of you might know about the art gallery attached to the diner. But if not, here's some photos Wolf took for me. Now pay attention to these paintings. See anything off about them? They have numbers. So green means nine, blue means three, red means eight. You can use these if you see a sequence of colors in a row. For instance, you walk in and see flags of blue, red, green, blue in that exact order. It will be three, nine, eight, three. Two more colors, but they've honestly slipped my mind. If you see them, right? Okay, so there's, all right. There's two extra colors. I wonder if those are in the, uh, the art gallery interesting the art gallery was locked remember and it's attached to the diner the gallery is part of the menu screen so i have to wonder the implications of that layer four there's a gate at the back half of the plaza look for it you'll find it eventually you just gotta unlock it using these two simple tasks Task one, you want to open the gate. Here's what you got to do. Find the crystals. There's a computer lying around somewhere and on it is a video that contains your answer. If you visited the pool, you know what steps to do next. Step two, find my tape player. I did record the code for future use, but I forgot it. Look around. There's a tape player somewhere with the workstation code on it recorded by yours truly. Maybe look for my little home away from home. Seems like a reasonable place to leave it. Note, play far, far away from Giovanni. He can hear these. Go to the sky hallway and look for the door with the music note next to it and press the button to begin. 
What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Okay. What is task two? Want to get the gate open? Here's what you got to do. Find the batteries. Look for glowing green batteries. There'll be one in the office, one in the rooftops, and one in the cave. Drop them off. Bring the batteries to the computer in the basement. Drop them into the box. Okay, that seems... All right. Truth be told, we don't know if there is a layer four or just how deep this all goes. For the longest time, it was assumed that it only goes to layer three, but recent searches have shown some kind of paradise down there. If you can find it, then by all means, you'll have my gratitude. What do I draw? This has nothing to do with layer three, but as most artists experience at one point or another, I'm dealing with burnout, the creativity killer. Well, this sucks. If you see this, why not toss me a suggestion on something to draw at stumblerohare at gmail.com. Update. You guys gave me lots of suggestions. Thank you all. I'll be getting them to you soon. I'm not sure I can take more requests right now, but if you ever want to chat, you can still send me an email. I made more friends these past weeks than I have in my whole life. All right. Well, that was, that was a simple little fucking... Okay. All right, you got all that? <laughs> you got all that, guys? Okay. Hold on. Give me a moment. I need to... Let me save something in my folder really quick before we keep going. Wow, there sure is a lot of video game here. All right, so everything we've done so far was just a tutorial. Let's see what's here. Let's, let's fucking go. There's a button on the back of this one. Uh, oh God, it opened a YouTube video. It's a YouTube video that is three minutes long. I suppose we should watch this. Hold on, there's probably gonna be an ad, so give me a sec. Nope, there isn't. We've seen that on the web page. Gary Wilson. I don't know if we've had his last name, right? It's different. Yeah, no, it's not the same picture, but it's like the same person and the same kind of picture. Oh God. <laughs> I saw something weird in the hover over. What is this? Excuses of... Hmm. Uses of death? But there's something there earlier before uses, I think. Causes of death? That makes sense. Like something out of a horror movie said Hillary stalks her cabin mate there trail of blood cabin of okay okay O'Leary wait why is it I don't know why it's cut off I think it's intended Olivia yeah I mean it just looked like an R to me see yeah it's definitely meant to be this way oh god okay this is a lot harder to parse. It's something to do with Gary. That's Nathan, right? What 
What's going on with the text there? Thank you, very cool. Video's really helpful. Well, wait, it's a three minute long video. Part manufactured, beach attraction, island mineral was found in the island full of veins. Some kind of seemed to cause a subject from the rats. The effect of that of a rat began use, but the material applied whatever condition they victims emerged. Okay, so I think those crystals turn people into fucked up things. Yeah, Starling conversion makes sense. Okay. Alright, so there's some manner of... Fucking <sighs> crystal turns you into furries. That's what I got from it as well. This one doesn't seem to have a button, at least not easily accessible. Unless that's it. Dude, this is such a big fucking game. This is an insane amount of shit. Okay. Are there buttons behind these? This is the art thing, I think. But then, what is... That looks like a level map of some sort. Okay. Brother. Oh, this is the thing from earlier. I thought that maybe there was going to be something useful on the front, but that doesn't seem to be the case at all. The label says... Fuck Obama. Okay. Hold on, let me let me screenshot this. Can't wait for this game's iceberg videos. Alright, so this is some sort of red version. I don't <sighs> hold on. Hello, guys. I'm a, I'm the beaver. There's a code here, and then there's a button. So let's see. What was the order? The problem is I don't think we have orange, do we? That could be blue back here, but it's in a different room, and it, it just doesn't look the same. So I'm not sure we can do this, because I believe that we just had, like, uh, red, blue, and green were told to us, but they said two other colors... And they can't remember. Was that a red button? It was. It was. I haven't pressed it yet. I'm just seeing this room first. Uh. Hmm. I'm not entirely certain what that has accomplished for me. What if I die? Okay. What if I go outside? If you have three, then couldn't... I guess you could. I feel like that's kind of lame. Um, people die when they die? Layer three is here, and we're meant to eventually get to a layer four. Well, they also say it, they're not sure if it exists. But what would be the order here. I think it's safe to say blue would be first. I guess green would be second. Keypad, I don't think it'll judge you. I'll judge myself, and that's the most important judgment of all to me. Order, you see them? I guess, yeah, it did say that, right? Hold on, so let me see. I probably should have written it down, but I need to go back and check. I did not screenshot that particular one. Let me just open it up on my, on my real browser. Okay, so... Alright. Green's 9, blue is 3, red is 8, so it would be 3 star 9, 8. 
right? I think I might have I might have failed the assignment. I think that, what if it's something more complicated than that too? I probably just fucked this up. Let me, let me double check, but okay. So green means nine, blue means three, red means eight. So did I get green and red mixed up? So that would be three blank. One sec. I'm just gonna do a cheat sheet for this so I can I can get it quicker than having to like tat out and look at this fucking thing. I have a bad working memory. All right, so three. Okay. What if orange is like, it affects the adjacent ones as well? What if there's like a fucking, cause it, if it, if it, it would be easy to brute force if this is what you actually had to do, right? Okay, all right, fuck it. Am I fucking it up? Hold on. Minesweeper, what if the mirror means it has to be backwards? Maybe. I could try that, I guess. That would be creative. That would be kind of weird, though, because if that was the case, then it would give you the wrong impression. Like, it would make me assume. But let's, let's try it. Okay, so... It's got to be in reverse. So it would be, uh... Eight, nine, question mark, three. Gotta get zero total. Haven't done zero. All right. Um, let me go see what's over here. I feel like I should probably decode the ciphers now. I should have the information to do it, but I also don't want to just do that on stream. Uh, so I'm going to see. Oh, God. The label says code is EFG. Nine? Yeah, it has to be EFG nine. Hold on, let me. So this is probably going to be another audio one. I have heard this and I do not know the name. But that should be immediately solvable, which implies to me that the other one is too. This is gonna be a cipher, right? Gate control, one out of three. Okay. God, what is the fucking song? Is this computer here all right so let's see you can help me with this one but i don't this room seems to be a test if you really learned yeah 
Yeah. Um, what is that fucking song? God. Are of the other doors over here open since I hit that button? Maybe. It is not Sandstorm. You're lying to me. Hmm. We're kind of in deep now, huh? I feel like it would be really difficult to get back to the top. Ode to Joy, D D E F F E D C B B C D D C C D D E F F E D. Is this the second game? Yeah. There's no G in there, is there? Or am I blind? BBC. This is serious gaming right now. It needs to be transposed. Yeah. And then there's this 9 at the end, right? There is. 9 equals G. That could be it, yeah. So maybe it's EF99. Hold on. Let me see. Let me... Fucking God. Alright. Counting this shit is gonna be a nightmare for me. One second. Let me look at this. So if I'm reading this right, it seems like there's four E's and four F's. What if... Hmm. Okay, so... Give me a sec. I'm looking at something. Give me just a moment. I could probably brute force this, but hold on. Okay, so the code is EFG9. The E's, the F's, and the 9's are there. If I'm looking at this little cipher thing, G is H. So that, that doesn't really help me all that much either. Um, I could maybe brute force it if that is actually a 9 at the end. Um, I just don't think they want you to do that, but... Well, actually... Hold on. Let me see... I feel like brute forcing has never once worked. Not that there's been too many instances. Hold on. My dog is trolling me. She keeps opening my damn door. Is it in or out? Come on. Okay, so... Alrighty. This is where it gets to be cock and ball torture, huh? Um... Give me a moment. Wait. So I'm looking at this beaver scratch thing, right? Give me, give me like five minutes. I need to try something. So I put it into the Caesar cipher, right? And it seems like uh, 
It doesn't, it's not an, exactly a Caesar cipher, at least not. It says, I miss fat ilg APM. So some of the things go forward and some of them go backwards in the same thing. So that's probably the little signs at the beginning maybe was not a code at all, but more knowing what uh, the certain things trend. I don't know. Hold on. Fuck me. I wish I was better at this shit, but this, this to me... Okay. So if that's the case, then... Let me look at this. In the original fucking scrawl document I have... Okay, so what I'm comparing right now All right, so K B Z F Q Q P P P N are not in the I miss having arms cipher code, right? Um, N is it's in having but the N when you do it through the regular Caesar cipher turns into an L. So I think I'm onto something. That's one of the ones that's not right. But then... <sighs> Hold on. But that still... That still fucking confuses me because why are there two different signs with two different, like, uh... I don't know. I think I'm too stupid for this video game. I know you can't see what I'm doing right now. Sorry. God, what do I even do? I'm walled. I might have to just fucking like... Because I want to solve this cypher shit myself. I don't want to help. I know I can do it. But I also don't want to just sit here and be fucking like putzing around with this shit all night. Um, Maybe... Maybe I can get these. Hold on. One second. Give me a moment. So the little, the other cipher, let me read that again. Mm, the color one specifically. You walk in and see flags with blue, red, green, blue in that exact order, right? That would be three, nine, eight, three. Two more colors, but they've honestly slipped my mind. I feel like it's weird that one of the ones that slipped his mind is the thing depicting him. I also don't know what the fuck this is. Like, what does this button do? Can I turn it off? I have not noticed any effects whatsoever from this button being pressed. All right. Today is August 12th, 1996. We've been given the go-ahead to get back to work on the project. It's been rocky, but we're all getting back into it. Harry's been at his workstation all day, playing through, well... He's been stuck on all of his levels. The coconut one. Apparently, there's been an issue with the chest spawning in. They just appear a random, which is already bad. But then they soon vanish when you get too close? I'm really just not sure. It's very confusing. I'll figure it out soon, though. I'm sure of it. And Liz has been busy as always. She's trying to catch up on the game's artwork, 
We finally got a finalized design for the wolf guy, mostly changing his proportions, so we can share his animations with other characters if we need to. But yeah, she's killing it, as usual, and on my end, not too much. I'm just chipping away on the little debug map right now, calling it just the plaza for now, until we can think of a cooler name for it. But, Interesting. Yeah. That's where we're at right now. I'm going to keep recording these. They're very fun, for sure. All right, see ya. Okay, so that wasn't... The thing about the coconut area is interesting, for one reason, because I also have a lot of trouble with that fucking coconut place. But the plaza is apparently the gate, where the gate that leads to layer four is. Um, I'm not sure if the plaza is just supposed to be all of this or what. I wonder... Oh, what if... I mean... What if it was like blue... Blue... Green... And then red. What if the orange is just not... True. I mean, that would have been... We would have brute forced that, right? frustrating big old dummy okay I'm kind of walled on this part right now I'm not sure what it is exactly like I must I have to do the ciphers now I think I'm not sure there's any other way without doing those and I have a good idea now I have more info than I did and if I really okay what if I you know what Hold on. I'm going to message this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to compose an email right now. Stumblerohair at gmail.com. I should probably make sure I have that spelled right. I'm just going to see if I could do like the fucking bullshit. Where I, I a quick brown fox from Silver the Lazy Dog on him. I feel like that would be... But then again... When he says, if you need a sentence translated, that probably means you have to send it like something that's encoded, right? And you can't just be like, hey, can you give me the cipher key? So it would require us to find the sentences, but that would be a huge help too. I think it would be possible with what I have now, knowing that it's mostly a Caesar cipher, but different letters uh, move more or less. I kind of had an idea. I couldn't figure anything out with that, but knowing the specific ones would be helpful. Like, the I miss having arms, having, like, a guaranteed translation for those is reasonably helpful. Um, just, uh, I need to figure something out. Sorry, I'm walled, bro. So let me try. Let me try just, uh... But I feel like maybe... Hmm. Hold on. This is driving me crazy. Okay, so... Man, if I... If I don't want to end the stream this early to figure this shit out. Okay, let's see. You know, I'm okay with having help on the music puzzle. I don't want help on the cipher, but, like, maybe we could figure the music puzzle. I've had chat off for, like, the last ten minutes. Um, funny how the website just doesn't feel like translating sometimes. GTG. Okay, we're speaking in ciphers now. I think I know the music solution. Okay. A music puzzle if you want I think I would prefer just like the notes of the song so I can use that not like the code translated I don't want to be you could return and try to I it's a long run back dude <laughs> it's a long fucking journey but you know maybe 
Maybe I could. Okay. Is that why the respawn function exists? Maybe, yeah. Maybe I could just respawn all the way in Afghanistan. Someone had it earlier. I watched a vid and counted. Sif, what are you doing? Alright, let, let's see what respawning... Oh! Interesting. That's really interesting, isn't it? This continues to impress. Okay. That is very helpful. Hold on. I need to start... Let me see what I have. I'm going to try to make the cipher and just spell it out. Okay, so A equals B. G equals H. I, I want to do it in alphabetical order, but I don't have all... I have uh, not that many... So I'm doing the, the beaver scratch page first. And I think with the if I get the stuff from this menu, the other things that are on that page, I should be able to piece out. And then I should have most of it. So I'm just going to figure this out. I'm sorry. You guys need to, you know, post your best VTuber emotes, your best ASCIIs. Uh, you know, have a fucking blast. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this out of the way.
I'm making progress. I'm sorry. Um, I'm close. I have to give me like five more minutes. I just need to make sure everything's right. And then we shouldn't have to worry. We shouldn't have to have these fucking terrible, awful pauses so much. I'm, let's just put a put a fucking uh, <laughs> a fuck in my step, so to speak. All right. Okay, K equals L. Everything I need should be on the beaver scratch page with the randomly, like that and the cipher I had previously should be. Okay. So C, F, U, K, P, H, one should be dev log random. Uh, I think that makes sense that's per it was a dev log it was literally a random dev log on the floor so i'm confident that that's right that seems correct to me i just need to there's a few letters i don't have but i think with this i should be able to get I, I, it should be reasonably easy to fill in the blanks let me just translate everything else on this page and uh because there's a, there's a few things I don't have. Okay. Okay, so random devlog. Now, here is the thing that I'm curious about. Wait, hold on. Can I actually do these other ciphers that I have with this? That's what I'm really curious about. It doesn't seem, well, hold on. Okay. Wait, am I on drugs? I think this one is still, I don't know. The most invigorating stream of all time. Okay, so KBZFQ, QPPN, and it's like I thought it was Rome, and I was on the right. I should, I could have figured this out if I was smarter without this key, because I thought it was going to be a um, oh, I thought it was going to be a cipher where it, uh, you know, you have a shift, but like different letters are shifted differently. I, I just assumed that the KBZFQ two meant it was shifted to. And I, I didn't do it manually enough. Um, now, I still am having trouble getting the second word. If my thing here is right, then I don't know. That would be... I don't have Z. Okay. Layer two, room three. That's what it says. So layer one of the signs say layer two, room three, and layer two, room one. 
Those are what the signs on the overworld say. An embarrassing amount of time to get that, but now I, I can translate the ciphers. I should arrange it a little better, because right now my ordering, it's like A, B, I, G, H, R, P, C, K, T, S, P, W, M, N, V, E, F. So it's not alphabetical at all. But yeah, layer, layer two, room three, C... That's the thing. I thought for sure that QPPN was room, but I had no idea what the fucking first word was. And I don't think I ever would have gotten layer until the revelation of, the, of coming down here and there's layers. Okay. So I'm still... Still kind of eating shit on the music one, but the cipher thing is taken care of. And I think I was correct in that those rooms opening doesn't really have shit to do with the uh whatchamafucket okay so what happens if i hit respawn here does this actually just take me all the way back i'm gonna need to figure out the music puzzle on my own at some point um but there's a lot of other things i feel like we can do before i have to tackle that monstrosity I definitely think that I should start exploring, like, the walrus area, like, progress days. Also interesting, the color puzzle here. Uh, red, blue, and green in a, in a specific order. I don't know what I would do with that. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute to get, like, the... Well, no, I'll open chat. There better not be spoilers. I'm going to cry, though. Okay. I did the notes for you. Oh. My bad. Well, I'll go back. There's still plenty. Um, I don't mind being told the notes because I, I would have so much trouble doing the musical stuff. But I know the stuff like the cipher, I can do that. Um, it's kind of fucked now. But does he know the secret you unlock after you play through the entire game? I do. I do. I saw that on YouTube. The creator is in Limgray. Fuck off. Alright, sorry that took me so long. I See, I was I had the right idea, but I just didn't do it right. Like, some letters go forward, some go backwards. It's a cipher, just not in one direction. Um, I have it now, though. And I think I have enough that if I... Even if I come across things where I do not have the correct... Like, I can fill in the blanks easily. Now, the problem here... The problem here is I could do this walrus fuckers thing again, but I don't believe I have another chance to do the bit with the door. I can try because maybe it's one chance a day. But there was something here that I did last time. Also note all of these hiding spots. Um, I have a different perspective on these cans now that I know you can use them to hide. Get in them? No, no. I would have tried that. Like, I fucked around with them a lot. So now there's an absolute confirmation, though. Like, there's no doubt that both the Goose's route and this Walrus's route, there is some way to move forward. But the problem I have is... There's only two of the sign doors. The layer two, room one things, right? So if there's three routes, then there's a path that I just don't... I don't understand. Okay. I'm sure it will be revealed to me in a dream or something, but... uh, See, also, if you haven't seen this... Hold on. Hold that thought. I want to show you the guy that's standing up on the top. I'm convinced you can you can do something with him. He's up there looking at me. But he doesn't really... He doesn't look, from this distance at least, like anything else we've seen in this game. It's really hard to make out, but he doesn't look like some sort of anthropomorphic animal. Kind of looks like Torpleduck. Shadow Truby. Jacking off on the road. Chess hurts this game. So this is the scariest part, though. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I see the, the beard. The cloak. The wizard-like stance. Shit. This is why I don't do Super Mario 64 anymore. It's 
1997, yeah. I don't think there's any reason to do anything but 1997. Now, I thought that maybe there would be stuff in 2023, but I, I don't know anymore. It doesn't seem like that. Are you supposed to stop moving when the color changes? Yes. And when the color changes, there are occasionally terrifying things that happen. Let's see if we can see. If you move, like a fish hook grabs you by the ass. Also, Autumn, after you see this part, I could really use a Diet Coke, baby. It would mean the world to me. But I want you to see this. See, like that. That shit's nightmare fuel. And that's not even the worst one. There's one that's really fucked up. They say love is dead. I literally got her a Diet Coke today. You unravel the mystery? No, Misa. No, I fucking didn't. There's every single time. It's like whack-a-mole, except every time you hit one of the moles, like all of the other slots rise up. And you only have time to hit two. I've made progress. I figured out the cipher. But... There's a lot. I would say at least two more streams of this before we get... The, we know now that there's apparently some manner of ultimate ending to be striving towards with... Like, definitively. Getting to layer four. If it does indeed exist. What does the cipher say? I'm just stupid, Misa. I could have done it. I was thinking... Let me look at the tabs I have open. I was like, okay, a Caesar cipher doesn't work. What about a Gronsfeld cipher or a Vigineer cipher or, or an Affine cipher? I, I, I got so crazy with it. Like, what was this one? Um, I think it was... Uh, yeah, like the Vigineer cipher is a way that basically you can have a, a... You can have like two E's, but they're different. It's not like letter substitution sort of shit. And you have to know a key password. So I was thinking maybe what I have to do is take the name of the otter woman uh and say like olive is the password for this cipher and i i it, it was just a caesar cipher but it was uh different letters went different ways which to be fair i tried that as well but i had assumed that the shift would have been the sign saying like k b z f q two meant that those letters would be shifted too but it wasn't. It was layer two, room three. <laughs> it was it was just uh Yeah. I'm just a big old dummy. Otter woman? Okay, one sec. Let me get a diet coke. Um wait. No. Hold on, never mind. We can get this again if the day elapses. Elapses, excuse me. Okay. I thought we were locked out of this, but I guess if you fuck one of these events up then you can um, try again on the next day. These guys look like Scooby-Doo, right? I haven't been acting right. No one around has been acting right lately. I took her to the hospital. And I walked out on my own. Maybe Oak Tree. She's gonna be there. See, I have no idea what this means. Like, I don't know who Mark Mullins is. Okay. This is the part where I, dw I dwelled for too long and I got ripped out like a fucking unborn fetus. Always fainting or tired? Maybe. Thank you, Twilight Zero, for the 47 months. I think that might be referring to, uh... Okay. Okay, alright. So it's... Once you make a certain amount of progress in that tunnel, and now this bitch is back. Killer. Yeah, this is the same playthrough from Saturday. Yeah. 
This is immensely confusing to me for a variety of reasons. Okay, I'm gonna go through like normally. Never thought these dumb polygonal animals could creep me out so much. Yeah, this is like a weirdly unsettling game. She's supposed to be on layer three, no? Well, remember, we learned the lore. Like, the, the rabbit told us. Uh, let me let me reread the page that pertained to these guys. Uh, dwellers. Dwellers, also known as starlings, are creatures who live in the darkness of Layer 3, donning the faces of Bucky's own. Friends. Uh, own friends. They will wander around the dark, searching for any unfortunate little beaver, yada, yada, yada. While a dweller may follow you around in Layer 3, that doesn't mean they won't try to follow you elsewhere. Stay alert. You may not be as safe as you think. If a barrel or any other object appears to be off or moving, repeatedly hit it until it vanishes. So this is a dweller. We sent her down by, by killing her, and now her dweller is after us. What about the... What was the part about her talking to the Wendigo? That was something I saw. Like, I went to the Wendigo area, and it was chasing me. And she turned around to, like, go like she was going to talk to it. Nothing seemed to actually happen. But can you undwell her? I'm the one who dwelled her, dude. Like, can you resurrect someone you murdered? Brought to layer three? They just don't consistently spawn. Like, that's the problem. Like, they appear sometimes, but not others. Hint, there's something you need to smack. Yeah, maybe prior to that, like, her getting here. Yes, I could see it. What's up? Thank you. Welcome. What's wrong? You seem, you seem stressed. I'm scared. Why? I told you this game was cool. Isn't she kind of weird just sitting there staring at me? Who is that? That's the woman I killed. That's her dweller, presumably, based off what we learned in the, uh, the big old terminal down there. Lasai, gotta play prop hunt. Otter dweller? I don't think anyone could mimic her. She's very unique. <laughs> That's supposed to be. Nothing, honey. <laughs> no, don't honey me. <laughs> when the colors in verbal, the hook gets you if you make inputs. It's input based. Remember the tip about slapping suspicious objects. Yeah. I just don't... I can't personally recall if I've seen a suspicious object is my thing. I am curious about that one little devlog that was talking about the uh, fucking... What was it? The coconut area with chests just like disappearing and stuff. What happens if I go in here again? Doesn't seem to work. Okay. Hmm. There has to be something here, but maybe... I don't know, it's impressive, because on one hand, yeah, we've made a lot of progress, but I'm still really just kind of fucking clueless at the same time. That spot is just suspicious. I feel like I've got to try to progress. To like day four or something. Day five. No reason for those doors being there. Well, that's the door we came out of, right? Found a different jigsaw piece for every puzzle. Yeah, it's kind of... Uh, I don't know, man. It's a good feeling. It's not a complaint. Wait. Did you see that? 
this is I can go up here now. I don't know what changed. It must have been going to that area. There's a boat out there. There's a button over here. And there's the man. That yep. Yeah. I have to admit, like, that particular one with the walrus is quite frightening. It's actually, gen like, I don't, I feel like I usually don't get too, uh, too fucked by the horror imagery, but that walrus is pretty spooky. This was my worst nightmare as a kid, doing this fucking tightrope platforming bullshit. Maybe I can get a closer look at this guy. That spot looks fucking... I want to go down there, but I don't... I don't at the same time. I think it's not screaming at you. Yeah, it's just kind of like observing you as you trot through the level. But it really just looks fucked up. It really just looks fucked up. You ever see the film Tusk? No. Man, so there's a boat and a button. That's insane. This game is fucking insane, dude. Okay. That doesn't count as a suspicious. No! It's all good. I can, I can just go back. I'm just worried that the uh, removal of that invisible wall will go away. See, that's the thing. There's a lot of shit like that. Like I've tried to go up there several times. Like chat, if if they were watching Saturday and they watched all of it, they'll know that I tried that specific jump. No, it's just kind of hanging out. So I don't know. It must be the little bit with the uh, the two Scooby Doo's. It has to be. That's the only thing that makes sense. Now, okay. This part though, like I'm not sure what to fucking do with that. No invisible bridges? I mean, yes and no. Like, thank God, but also, what the fuck? How? I think it's safe to say that there aren't, like, random... There's very few things that are accidental. Like, that a boat and a button out there are there for a reason. There's, there's no way it just disables this fucking wall and then there's shit out there. What happens if I move up here? All right. Okay. So I think I'm probably fucked on that one for today. But that's all right, because I wanted to go... Also, let me show you this. Otter's tweaking? Yeah, she's scared. She wants to be in the room with a big, strong man who can protect her from otters. Demon otters. So look at this shit. It's too fucking foggy. I swear there's something out there. But at wrong time of the day. How many times can you lose? A lot. Like, it would, you would have to really struggle to run out of time. But the the description on Steam says that the longer it goes, the more things get fucked up. So I think it's easy by design so that you have to intentionally try to prolong it. Like sex. Right? Also, I, I'm curious. This one's still locked. This says layer two... Room three. Wait.
Put the headphones on. Why? Put the headphones on. This is a really good part. Why? What are you doing? What's happening? 2015. Hello, International. At 1520. Is this a scoundrel or something? The vandal, yeah. Come on, they're saying this is going to make me cry. Oh, that's it. There's, oh, like, okay. not really jump scares. Like, nothing really okay. pops out and screams at you. <sighs> that is really fucking off-putting, though, isn't it? Well, I saw him do do the orange justice earlier, so he's not as scary as, as the walrus That's, in yeah. the sky. See, how do I get over here? There's just so many fucking questions, bros. Is it one of these rooms? Is this layer two that you're in? No, this is layer one. Oh. I guess it's weird now. I haven't really thought of it because the layer concept as a whole is really new to me. Yeah. But this is layer one. Layer 2 seemed to specifically be the area with, like, the pool and shit. Um, I so... I don't think I've seen those. Or is that before I left to go to 7-Eleven? Layer... I, I, I might have been, yeah. So the current problem we're trying to solve... There's a lot. There's a lot, man. It's just like life. Uh, you know, there's never just one fucking thing. <laughs> there's a lot of shit. Uh, I'm trying to learn more. I'm not really trying to solve anything right now. I'm just, like, kind of experimenting i'm 100 percent convinced we can leave this and get out there um the reason is this is one of the most mysterious locked doors in the entire fucking game that right there is a mystery and i'm convinced it goes outside we also haven't done this guy's quest on this run which means if we do this now, we should be able to, uh, should be able to do that and try to get to that debug room that we found out about earlier. No, I think, so I tried killing Olive in the 23 version. Actually, she does die, but there's no, like, cutscene or anything after the fact. You just get a game over. It's okay. There's nothing even remotely scary on this level. Isn't there the Wendigo? What? Wendigo? Happened when you jumped down from the rim in this level? I died. What did you do to get Olive to follow sometimes? It, it just appears killing her. I don't know what causes her to follow. I've only seen her follow in the minigame rooms. So this area... As well as the um, the walrus area we were at, the dam. There's a keypad over here. I still don't know what to do with this. But, Sif. Able to kill any of the other characters? It seems like you're only able to kill someone if they're in one of these mini games. I don't know if there's some sort of lore behind that, but the only instance that I'm aware of is olive when you're doing the little coconut thing and as far as i've seen i think the goose is present in the kitchen during his so i can try to kill him and i haven't done his but really it's just that one so far the slapping has been remarkably useless overall um in fact i think the only places it's been useful are areas that feature olive like the coconut trees have you failed the goose game? I haven't. I need to. That's what I mean. There's a lot of shit that I need to try. There's an absolute titanic amount of bullshit I need to work through. I still haven't even gotten one of the normal endings that you don't need to do anything special for. Yes, Rubik Snoob. What's wrong? Why? You guys think this is scary? NATO radio transit. I haven't done that yet. I need to, and I remembered that. Um, not really. It'd be pretty. It's creepy. It's unsettling, but I don't know. I mean, spooky, unsettling kind of mixes together to be scary, right? 
Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I think it does the horror elements really well compared to a lot of games, personally. I need to try to do the cipher. If you were scared of this, then what awaits for you downstairs will terrify you. I already went downstairs and I brought all of my dogs with me. So, hurrah. The only thing that isn't scary to me are the FMV that are actually 3D. I actually think that's the worst part. Like, I honestly really feel like that one where he's walking down those steps is really fucking unnerving. The one where he's sitting there at the end, like the YouTube video of him just sitting there at the end of your apartment complex. Fucking, it's probably, I don't know. That's like the worst part for me. That and the FMV walrus in the sky. It's so strange to me that there are more than, there's parts bins in other places, but nothing to put them in. Maybe you have to like chop up one of them and put their parts in. Fucking beaver jump scares me every time he appears. What's wrong? I want to go back to the room. I'm scared. <laughs> Dude, nothing's going to hurt you. I promise. You have me. But you're not in between the room. <laughs> I mean, I'm right here. I'm literally like 10 feet away. The Wendigo's out there. I'm going to scare Otter. The startup beaver makes me jump. They have the people lit up, like the one that plays in the main menu go for too long with the blonde guy. I think that's fucked too. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm softening up again. Parts bins only appear in the main so the parts bins appear here with the walrus and in the volcano. Which is the strange one. Remember there's a volcano like race game thing for one of the endings. Be really funny if you turned around and jump scared autumn no. yeah it probably would no it wouldn't i would never ever ever forgive you if you did that again okay leave it there i'm gonna fix this hunk of junk you get out of my face do what you gotta do okay if there's another one in a strange place i could be you're you're probably right i don't really remember Fuck, I don't think this is going to be open at midnight. we got to progress to the next day. I don't think I've been to day four at all in this playthrough, so this is exciting. The pool area? Maybe. I'm not sure. What a great game this is, though. Like, this has been such a pleasant surprise. I really have enjoyed my time with this, and I feel like it's only going to get better. Like... Fuck, dude. <laughs> but also, remember, these umbrellas are... These have to be like a color puzzle of some sort, right? Yeah, yeah. But I feel like the number one thing I need to do right now is I need to figure out if I, there is a goal. It's the goose. Because the goose has the art gallery adjacent to his diner, which might give me clues on what the other two colors are supposed to be representative of. That feels like the logical way to go, to me. There's still that fucking thing in the background. I'm convinced there's something to that. The six windmills. I'm gonna get the goose boost. Okay. Wait. Should I change color? No, I think that's still blue. It looked kind of purple to me, but I think it was just the lighting. Day four, and I have saved zero of my friends. I'm killing it. I'm absolutely raw-dogging it right now. Just fucking insane back shots, ATM. Okie dokie. I would like to go and show you guys that house I was talking about earlier. Let's not jump off and die. See? 
like this is what like i would i wasn't ever under the assumption that these things out in the fog were nothing but this feels all too deliberate right like you specifically have to go to this corner pop out here and then there's something now what to do with it i have no fucking idea but it there's three of those now that's chief it's the wolf it's a good horse. Ciferoni, sometimes you make me angry. Oh, thank you. Link to the trash for the tier 3 resub. 44 months. Thank you very much for the Tolomeo Gold. Hello, Mr. Dark Souls. Just wanted to say you are epic and still watch. It's going to be a VOD hell since I moved. I don't know if you remember, but I'm still going to show up in an onion suit. We're going to watch. You, we are not watching Trolls 2, bro. Like, the onion suit? Fine. All right, like I'm not entirely unreasonable, but trolls too. Trolls too. Like, come on, bro. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Bro, people are saying the trolls movies are masterpieces, and I think it's mass psychosis. That I agree with. Like the other instance of mass psychosis, I wasn't necessarily on board with, but this one, I would, I would probably agree with you. Gotta be trolls three at this point. God, man. It's been awfully quiet day four, huh? Like, there's no fucking sound whatsoever in the background. This is, like, deathly quiet. You know what they say about people who don't like trolls too? What do they say, pirate idealist? Are you going to enlighten me? You got the boat fixed? Y yeah? Racist? Maybe we were the Trolls 3 all along? Huh. Olivia beat her? It is kind of fucked that, like, the, the thing that really opened the floodgates for all of these discoveries was beating a woman to death. Yeah, why did you do that? Because I wanted to see if I could hit her, and she went, OW! And then... Like, I noticed that I lost time. I'm like, I wonder if I start fresh, if I could beat her to death. Um, and I did. She didn't die in the minigame, but after it ended and the time went to zero, a cutscene happened. Where there was a recorder of her and, like, her actor actress being beaten to death by the fucking Mole Man. And there was a video, too. And it was honestly probably the most fucked up thing in the game. And so, you know me. I'm empathetic. I'm kind. I'm compassionate. I'm like, okay, what happens if we beat her to death again? And so I did. And then it took me to a different place after that, if you can fucking believe it, where her body was floating in a pool and another beaver was standing there just kind of staring at her corpse. So... I don't know. Seems like Connor killed everyone on the dev team. It's hard to tell. It's difficult to make heads or tails. Why is this not open now? Maybe this is a thing where I have to do it on the day of. Let's do this again, I guess. It's the most schizo thing I've ever heard. It's literally what happened, though. I think it was actually a fairly succinct description of the timeline of events, personally. Go piss, girl! I mean, you know, I would be more worried about the beaver going in the toilet if I were in your shoes, but, you know. What does that mean? Nothing, honey. Welcome thing unloaded makes me think it's something. Oh, no, she's here again. see if she does actually react or if it was just like happenstance it seems like it was just happenstance she doesn't seem to have any i mean okay it's weird right because like 
the fucking thing kind of implied that she would be hostile. If she is one of these dwellers, it was like making it out like we were going to be in a battle for our lives. Okay. Probably shouldn't get too close. He's got a bigger hitbox than you'd expect. Haunting you because you murdered her? Yeah, it's possible we haven't even seen the dwellers yet. Um... Is he not reading off the co- I don't know, bro. I think you have to die and go back. Maybe. I think a whole lot of things, and none of them are right. Comes red when you go into the weird vision? That's true, she does. That is a, that is a good observation. Definitely seems to think she is some sort of enemy. But, I mean, she's a literal ghost, so... Sif, come on. I've let you out, like, five times this stream. Please just lay down, dude. Come on. Just lay down. Why don't you like hanging out with me, dude? Maybe Sif's scared, too. She's an annoying dog, you know? I thought it was kind of fucked up in Undertale when the Samoyeds were all called, like, annoying dogs. But it's true. Like, it's 100% true. Trying coming back after catching the first part. Oh, dude, this is... You should have been here, like, an hour ago. Oh, my fucking God. Like, it got so much more complicated so fast. We know the Cypher is now, though. That's cool. Great. Yippee. Yippee! Undertale has deciphered all things. Stuff inside Cogware was fucked up. Yeah, the deeper into the layers you go, the more ridiculous it seems to get. Which makes perfect sense. I'm still on that signpost. I was hoping maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe... If you left the area with the candle, you could come back here with the candle in hand and the signpost would be revealed with it. Shitwreck 64 and Coca-Cola? Hell yeah, dude. Probably gonna get Whataburger tonight. I didn't really eat today. Been, uh, gaming out of my gourd, dude. Man, it's... This is the most I've had to think in, like, a week. Like, I had to play this on Saturday, then the other fucking Cypher game last night, now this shit again. Fuck me. I lost where the keypad was. I am trying to find it. I really don't think she's gonna react to it, though. Play Pikmin 3 and 4? I've only played 1 and 2, and honestly, I'm a bad person to ask about Pikmin opinions, because I've got legitimately dog shit opinions on Pikmin. Nobody fucking agrees with me. I think Pikmin 1 was where it started and ended for me. I don't care about Pikmin 2. There were points where it was cool and better, but I liked 1 because specifically I enjoyed that you were timed. Yes, I'm aware. Everyone beat it 100% first try, and it's easy. But just the idea of it being time meant that your little Pikmin meant more. You had a finite amount. You couldn't just go back and get more chattel Pikmin, you know? So if you had fucked up and lost a bunch, it was actually a huge issue. And it made the Pikmin feel more important and made me feel more attached to them. And I just don't get that feeling when you can just get infinite Pikmins, you know? I haven't played three or four, though, so I have no idea. Two is like a Hellscape Nightmare game. It's just... No, I know. I'm not saying it's easier or harder. I did the Water Wraith. Like, I know I've played a good amount of Pikmin. I don't think I ever beat the final guy, although I saw a friend did it. The Water Wraith was very scary. I remember that thing was terrifying. Um, it's not that I think Pikmin 2 is bad. It's just Pikmin, to me, is the formula of the first. Um, I know that's kind of like boomer thinking, but I just really, really, really like one. I liked that game. One of the things that I enjoy the most and I remember is figuring out what the fuck the smoky prog was. 
in that one level. I thought that was one of the scariest and coolest things, and it was... I didn't really have internet back then, so I was just like, oh my god, what the fuck is this thing? It was cool. It's a real-time Animal Crossing like game. It's fair three has a time limit based on how fast you collect fruit to get more time. It even has difficulty options on Switch. It makes it interesting for you? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should get back into it. My sister fucking loves Pikmin. Like, that is her... Like, Pikmin's her favorite shit. Um, crazy for those little, little vegetable people. That took us all the fucking way to midnight. Uh-oh. That means we're going... We got a fast track to day five, brothers. Color of Pikmin do you think tastes the best? Red is probably the closest to meat, so... I would say that one. See, there's also this. This part with the bunny killing someone, and then the mole rat. See, what are we making of this? This would imply... The, is that the beaver or the bunny? It's hard for me to tell. He doesn't have the hat, so I'm a, it's the bunny for sure. So is the bunny killing people too? If we're to take that literally, then the beaver, the mole rat, and the bunny are all potentially murderous. Is this FNAF? Something like that. There's the Power Ranger. I can't really tell. Bunny was a homie, though. Couldn't it just be a dweller? It could be. It's like some Mandela catalog alternate shit. Barely at the fall. Yeah, this is the, one of the worst streams I can think of to go in not having seen the previous one. It is actually going to be completely indecipherable. You are not going to have an idea what's going on. Um, there's a lot happening. This is the most complicated thing since Worm Game or My House. I would recommend, if this describes you, you should probably watch Saturday's VOD if it's interesting. But it's like Worm Game all over again. Maybe even a little more confusing. It's definitely seeming like it's going to end up being a longer undertaking than the Worm Game. I never know what the fuck is going- That's not- Come on. I feel like most of the time it's abundantly clear. And if it isn't, it's easy to explain. In this, it's like... I don't even know where to fucking start. Like, I can give you the, the synopsis of, like, the game at the beginning, but... Summarizing everything that's happened to this point... I don't know, man. Give it up for day five. Yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yippee. Still fucking barred. See, there's just so much I don't understand, right? Like, what causes those bars to disappear? I thought it was the wolf, but no. Okay. We need to start working on this goose. We need to start fucking this goose up. That has to be the next logical point. There's a million other things I want to try, but, like, part of the reason it's difficult to test things in this game is because there's, like, at least four different routes in my mind that I could go, but in a playthrough, if you do certain actions, you kind of lock yourself out of them. Um, at least to my knowledge. Like, I can't do it. I really want to see what's going on with the bunny's test room that we saw in the video, but it's not letting me in there. Uh, so there's just, there's so much. I could literally play this for eight hours tonight, and there would, I feel like I would still barely get anywhere. We're going to try failing this guy's game. Or killing him. 
It seems like Olivia is the only one we can hit. She's here. One thing I've noticed, it seems like she always appears when you do something at the beginning of the day. I'm convinced I gotta be able to get up here. Like... God. She's a morning person? Darn. What did you do? You stupid rat. Get back in there and do it right. All right, flea bag, do your thing. Remember, watch for smoke first. If you see smoke, turn the oven off. Now get out of my sight. Wait. It's over, bros. We found it. You found it. It has been like 10 hours since we found a secret. Holy shit, finally. No fucking way, dude. Okay. Nothing was left when they found him. Thank you, Metal Breach, for the 79 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Dude, how are you? What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit. What took you so damn long? Look, wolves have been on my tail all day. Part of my debt is to cook for these mutts, but I can't turn the dials with these wings. They're useless. Okay, get in there, rodent. He sounds different, doesn't he? So can we go over here again? Uh-oh. Immediately it starts fucking up. I saw this somewhere. Is that him dead on the stove? This is insane. The door is unlocked now. We can just go in there. This is still the same. I would like to see if things have changed elsewhere before going down that route. I want to see if anything new has happened. Perhaps the wolf up here has different dialogue. Disturb I think the videos are super fucked up, honestly. Um, I, th I They're pretty gruesome. It's so impressive. Okay. It's the same dialogue. How to kill walrus. Now that is the fucking question, isn't it? Um, the goose was pretty easy. You know what? What if it's not... What if it's simply failing the minigame multiple times? 
Because technically, when we beat her to death, we lost twice. With the goose, we had to lose twice. So maybe we have to uh, just simply get caught twice. I'm not sure. We don't have time to try it now. We're at like the end of day five. When you failed, Wolf, the, the second... That's true. Yes, yes, you're right. Actually, hold on. Give me a second. I need to, I need to see something really quick. Okay. So, the beaver speak doesn't seem to be... If it has worked for you and you've solved it, please don't let me know. But what I have here does not seem to be applicable to the NATO code from the Wendigo. Um, I'll, I gave it just one little try, but it just doesn't it doesn't make sense the way it's laid out. Uh, thank you, Sami, for gifting a sub to Crybaka and Glitchybug. I appreciate it. So, I don't think that's what we have to do for that necessarily. Um, maybe there's more to it, but it didn't seem like I got, for example, just doing the LXBCGRR uh, turns into KUADHQQ, which is gibberish. Um, at least as far as I'm concerned, it's gibberish. NATO code? Yeah, if you fail in the little woods game where the Wendigo is chasing you, he starts going like, Romeo, Ligma. Sugma, X-ray. It's kind of strange. To put it lightly. Okay, so let's see. I want to see if the bar is open here. No. I do not have a concrete answer on what opens those bars. I feel like they've opened early. I feel like sometimes you have to... You have to rescue someone. Let's go in the new door. I just want to make sure. I need to be thorough because this is proven to be a devious game. It says that all of the levels get corrupted as you progress based off of the choices you make. So I just wanted to see if something different happened. Maybe you have to fail the wolf three times? Maybe. We're getting close to the point where we can start a new game. I'm excited to explore the coconut thing more in the rabbit level. Okay. What is in here? Oh my god. Okay. I think this is... it's That was the kitchen and this is the diner. Note that this statue is doing the same pose that the Void One did way back earlier. So I guess he's meant to be holding a pizza. A thank you for the 200 bits linked to the trash. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Are the number of plates important? Okay. I'm s is what? Okay. <gasps> Dude, you know what this is? That's a color I recognize. The little fucker's arms are being served as food. Cannibalism, it seems that way. Although, is it really cannibalism if you're like a beaver eating a rabbit's arm? I'm expecting that this is going to be quite elaborate like the pool was. 
This actually kind of gives me Mario 64, like, Boo Mansion vibes a little bit. It's okay, I thought it was a bowling ball at first as well. Okay, so this doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Interesting. Armor's a blue hat? There's no way. There's no way, dude. It isn't a bull. I thought it was a bowling ball. It could be. I need to take a piss break. I'll be right back. Consuming a lot of fluid, dude. Okay. Oh. Alrighty, so let's explore some more. Would be cook if the coconut winked at you. Yeah? You think so? Interesting. Okay. I remember this part from the trailer. One of the things I'm really confused about is... Okay, so the, the menu in this game, the main menu where you load and save games is actually a level. And there's a locked door called the gallery, which is apparently adjacent to this place. So are we going to go back into the main menu? Okay. Who the fuck? I'm pretty sure that was the guy who was on fire. There's also a bunch of windmills out there. Now, there are certain ones that are clearly the color puzzles, but... I wonder about some of the other ones. Oh, God. Yes, that was the one I was thinking of. That over there. Hi, Bucky. Here to observe the arts I see? I respect that. Take a look around. Blue is three. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Big fuck-off building we always see at the start of the game? Hold on. I mean, we already have red, blue, and green. I'm just... It's interesting how all of these levels link together. Like, if I had gotten here first, I wouldn't have... Well, no, I think I would have figured that out. Like, it's... Never mind. You, you... I think anyone would figure that out. Like, there's pretty clearly, uh, like, blue thing saying three. Although, maybe not everybody. Hello? Nice to see you around here, Bucky. Isn't this place magnificent? Seriously, this art is beautiful. Okay, so that's the rabbit and the wolf. 
I don't know what the fuck that is. It looks like, uh... It looks like Bucky with, like, a bunch of shit on his face. Oh, that last one is... Rabbit is the real antagonist, 100%. It seems like the rabbit, the beaver, and the mole rat are all fucked. Like, they've all been depicted doing something terrible at this point. I just don't know what this is. This is, I've seen this. This is like the Liz art in the main menu. No fucking idea. What it is supposed to be representative of. It doesn't really look like anything I've seen. Okay. okay. What was it? Red, blue, blue, green. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay, <laughs> sure. He didn't read very heavily into what he was signing into. To remedy that, he began to work on a replacement, and that is when Lucky Beaver and his friends the popularity of Bucky not only went on to exceed plot, but Bucky went on to be one of the most recognizable cartoon characters in the late 60s, and his popularity only continued to skyrocket up until the 1990s. Somewhere in the 1980s, however, Bucky would go on to outlive his own creator, as Rex unfortunately had passed away due to unknown circumstances. Bucky, however, was more than and as more characters joined the roster, like the Bucky the Olive Otter, mm -hmm. to the cowering mm -hmm. of Walter Nelson, mm -hmm. and the snappy mm -hmm. Judah Bobby Goose, Bucky and the Rod Fight Animation as a whole, only became a bigger household name. Studio Rats was a theme park that was made in honor of Rex. As a kid, he always enjoyed theme parks. There was a merry-go-round at a local fair he would ride many times over in a day. The idea of the studio grounds originally came into conception after a park known as Broadside Beach was created. This was the predecessor to studio grounds, and while it brought in great success and happy memories to many children and adults around the world, the travel to an island view of cruise ship was enough to turn away many potential visitors. Wow, that was a lot, huh? Holy shit. Okay. Long ago, before any of us were born, a man named Rex was brought into the world. Born into a family that was relatively poor, he also tried to... Forgot it already, so what I gathered from it is basically Bucky was a character long before... Uh... Oh god, it's still going. It's a sketch of a rabbit. This is Blot, Rex's first creation. Rex? Keep moving. Rex, the rabbit. Huh. Maybe 
Maybe the rabbit isn't being forthcoming with us. Maybe it's a different one. Frontier Street Museum. Okay. Hey, Waffle Tail. What brings you down here? Meeting your maker, I'm guessing. Nice. There's another rabbit he liked. Yeah. Oh no. Shit. Oh. That's actually remarkable that they give you like a cutscene to show you what it opened. Sorry, is it too loud? No? Okay. Oh. Okay. It's a snippet of a cartoon, Bucky's Redesign. Midway through Bucky's lifespan, a redesign was in order. Huh. It's a title card of a cartoon. Construction, destruction. This cartoon had Bucky working on a dam. This didn't go well, however. Oh. Huh. Interesting. All right. It's a title card of a cartoon. Grave mistake. Rex's first cartoon to feature Bucky. In it, Bucky gets buried alive and tries escaping. I wish I could be buried too. Yeah, so Bucky was a cartoon long before the game, I guess. No, Half Talon, I think that that means that we need to be buried again. This must be Rex. It's a photo of a man. This is Rex. Rex was the founder of Broadside Animation. Rest, Rex, you've earned it. Ugh. What was that reaction, Bucky? Oh. There's a, uh... Hmm. Well, we need to backtrack to that area. I'm not sure if we have anything to do here anymore. All right. Works for me. It's the blonde man from the title screen video. It might be, yeah. But up until the 1940s, his cartoons, both animated pictures and comics, had gone in. Wait, did I even go in this fucking door? I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Here we are again. You did not? I did. I did. I said earlier all three paths were going to go here. I didn't know that that door exactly was going to lead to this place. Okay. So I guess we can consider this the hub of layer two. Not going. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't go on that. You're right about that for sure. My mistake. The beaver maker plane? <laughs> Pretty much. It's interesting, isn't it? There's like uh, the little island that has a few ways to go. Basically, three paths for NPCs. You go there, three paths related to NPCs. Even in the room with the computer that gave us all of the info, there's three paths. So, just like a mirror. Maybe not a mirror, but like it just, the general structure is pretty similar. Did you take Rex Raptor's red eyes or some shit? I have no idea. Layers, yeah, this game's just a big old stinky onion. Here we 
Sorry again. Read the signs? I already did that. It says the diner. Save time. We've been here before. Now we have to figure out the walrus. See, that's why I think... The dam is somewhere we clearly haven't been to. We get to the dam from the area with the walrus, but we haven't been to the dam. Like, even if you look, it doesn't really look like the same place. Because there's like a suspended, one of those bridges, but it's not like attached to the wall or anything. It actually just goes out in the middle. So the dam has to be just like a completely new area like the others have. Is the dam the third layer? No. So this was the second layer. This door leads to the third layer. The dam would be... Each one of these characters has an associated area in the second layer. For her, it's the pool. For him, it's the diner. And for him, it's the dam. Presumably, what you gotta do is... Get all three of them and then continue. But I'm... I'm there's more over here that I want to work out. No, not here. Yeah, it'll be pretty clear when we're in the third layer. It's a lot different from the other places. It's like the horror nightmare uh, hellscape, more or less. There's apparently monsters running around that put you in prison. Haven't seen that yet. I'm sure we will. I have no doubt. Why is it so light over here? Until eventually, he was approached by a company who offered him the deal of a lifetime. Really appreciate each avenue using a different cipher and a guide on how to solve all of them. Yeah, I know, and I, I got there knowing how to solve none of them. Uh, truly talented. One of the best that's ever done it. Just fucking bumbled my way in. I don't know what any of this shit is. Although, to be fair, it wasn't really necessary. You didn't need the cipher. It would not have even helped, honestly. There was nothing meaningful that I have found with that cipher yet. Like, random devlog. What if... Did I fuck myself? Hold on. It must have just been a graphical effect then. It looked like something was happening there. Kind of like that Mario 64 ROM hack that was a maze. Yes and no. There's a lot more to it, but it is a fucked up, like, labyrinthian puzzle to figure out. It's just a different kind. Like, I would say B3313 was the Brinthian, but there wasn't, like... There weren't puzzles. Are those crystals below? I'm not sure. Hello, Neko Kurokawa. They might be, yeah. Jutting out from the abyss. Hiding in the trash can for a while isn't a bad idea, actually. It's a good idea, Rutari. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, behind the gate lies a computer dark for bright blue tomorrow. I could never dream I'd start to cut the ribbon of the For that, what is he doing? I'm just seeing it. Why would the trash can that you could enter be in here? How do I get those gates to open? It is a mystery, but maybe if you sit in here, someone opens the gates because they don't think anyone's here. I'm not sure. Maybe we need something else. Maybe we don't have everything. There's probably a reason... 
that we can go to the layer three, but not over here. Like layer three is separate from this little maze. It's, it could have been that too. Need to come here at night time? That would be fucked up. Maybe. I feel like something's gonna trigger that releases the dwellers everywhere. It was about a rabbit that ran through, which then proceeded to leap off the hinge. Utilizing a real photograph. Okay. I'm so conflicted right now. Something else you can do in the other rooms? Maybe you mentioned Olivia only showing up during the first games, right? Maybe it's getting a dweller in there at a certain time, hence the barrel. Maybe. I don't think I, I have the info yet. Were there trash cans on the pool second layer? I feel like they didn't show up until the third. Where did that gate open? Uh, it just leads here. I want to see something. No, it wasn't here. Wait. What did that button even do? This is a very interesting part of the map because we saw NPCs walking down there earlier. But we haven't been anywhere quite like that. Before I think it opened the bars. I imagine it was a one-time event, but it looks like there's more down there. There's more over here. This is the parts box. You did see one side here. There's one right here. Similar steam in the pools? Yeah. Okay. What's going on, DG? How are you, dude? Yeah, uh, it's the next worm game, basically. I remember you commenting on it. What am I doing? Okay. Trigger the NPC start walking down and you get on the other side of the last room. I have no idea. The NPC, the dweller thing, only seems to happen in the morning. We're not really going to get that many opportunities to test because we're at the end of the five days. Escort the souls to the boat in the end? I have no fucking idea. Maybe. That seems like that wouldn't... Like, that would be easy, though. I think we're escorting them down. But we'll see. We'll see in a couple weeks. Okay. I guess we're going back here. Autumn, I don't suppose you have those notes from earlier. Thank you, side here. Let me put this in the notepad. Because I don't know if we, we have what we need for the uh, color puzzle yet. I have a suspicion the walrus will have the other colors, or at least one of them. Also, this is, this is supposed to spell Brandon, right? I'm... Who is Br yeah 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 exact yeah who is Brandon? Is Brandon Bucky? Maybe I think I need to actually pay like close attention to the credits next time we beat the game. There's a few names that I'm curious about. Brandon.
Brandon Lester appears as Bucky's 1997's V. Okay. How? 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 Starting to get addicted to Pokemon slavery game. Kind of fun. Hell yeah, dude. Holding that knife again. No, it's just a candle, bro. Bucky would never hurt anybody. He's an innocent cherub. Right? These are all locked, right? Oh, was this one open before? Oh my god. This must be because the goose... You, which one of these paths you get depends on which one you save. That makes sense. Like I said, there were three. The label says... Alright, hold on, hold on. Uh, genius alert. Give me a second. Okay. I should really rearrange this to be a little more intelligible. Um... It's, it should be devlog, but the it's not random this time. It's something different. Is that an O? Hold on. It should be progress. Devlog progress. Okay, as of today, the bees, park, and hull are all complete. Is all of it here? Just need to set up her teleport once we have the mini games completed. Oh, it's March, by the way. 96. Sorry, I'm kind of excited. Why am I sorry for that? Today's a good day. Um, anyways, everything is going smoothly here. Thanks. Liz needs to get back to me with Walter's mall, plus his head texture, but it moves sailing. It gets sick. I think I've patched the noble bug, too. Even the one Harry found in the hole, where you get soft-locked behind the bed. How did he even do that? That, uh, I'm planning to talk to Mark Lair. I can't wait to show him the progress. I think it's gonna go great. We'll, we'll have to see, though. That's all. Signing off for tonight. So Mark, I think that's Connor. Soft-lock hole behind the bed? Sometimes I feel like Tolo is some sort of insane min-maxing spirit who lives to 100% purgatory every time he dies, but instead of going to heaven, he just reincarnates to smash his balls in with a hammer for another 70 years, waiting to try out the new purgatory CBT they've come up with. If only it was that, uh, that wonderful. The truth is usually mundane, sadly. Just an idiot who lives in Texas. Who are you? The kazoo kid's gotta be here. It's been many years since I've encountered him. That looks like a bunny with no arms to me. Okay. Five houses. Six houses in the building. I think Rubik's might be right about these houses, but I don't know. Hold on. Oh. Okay, so it seems like we got a video from this. No, no, fuck you, bitch. Nobody likes you. Die. Okay, okay, hold on. This is very fucking important. Let me... Alright. Wait. 
this is the same one. This is literally the same code, but I think longer than the one the Wendigo is saying. Because the, the code I have from the Wendigo is LXBCGRR with a, with a space. Uh, and then the volcano blows. Okay. I'm having trouble hearing the very first one. What does he say at the beginning there? I know it's probably not very loud for you. It's difficult. Uh, the volume is golf. Okay. Romeo, stand by. Lima, X-ray, Bravo, Charlie, Golf. No, the, the Wendigo had part of this, but there's more. Okay, give me a second. Let me see. Um, I, I'm failing to get anything from this for now. Hold on. One less standby within what the creature says. The first part makes sense. It translates to HQ, but then the LX is what I'm having trouble with. Maybe it's not the same cipher. I, I can probably mess around with this later, but I'm not sure. What does that fucking do? This is the second area where there's just like a green light that doesn't seem to fucking do anything. It's maddening. Okay, oh god. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an inkling what the password for this place is yet. Not one fucking iota at the moment. Wait. Oh, okay. So the first one is red. The third is red. Okay, so red, blue, red, green. Should be the code. Let's see if I can remember this without looking it up. Give me a sec. I turned my volume up way too... Oh, you know what? Your volume is probably way too loud, too, because of the browser. My mistake. Um, probably more in the description. Um, let me see. It says Mount Pinatubu. Mount Pinatubo? Question mark. Is that a real place? Mount Pinatubo. Stratovolcano in the Philippines. Huh. Does that... What the fuck? Do you fucking... What? 200? What? What was... It? I think that... 
I was worried that was coming from my desktop, but I don't know. I don't see any, like, source of audio. But maybe it was my mistake. Okay, hold on. Hold on. God, please, please let me play the video game. I need to turn my, my volume down, though. Give me a sec. My shit's all fucked. Okay. Hold on. Did I mean wait? Okay. Question mark, question mark. Okay, so it's red. I should probably use this recorder. Oh, is it for this one? Oh my goodness. Okay. Devlog. Um, what, what the fuck is that? I can almost make it out without consulting the cipher. It doesn't make fucking sense, does it? Devlog Mark? Mark is sold into it, but is that even enough? His servers must be set astronomically high. Plus, after the, you know, the thing I found, I just gotta be honest. I feel so much less safe around my head. Okay, so Mark doesn't feel safe around Connor. I'm guessing that's who he's talking about. There could be a lot of options, though, so it's... Oh. Okay. Holy shit. What the f Is this the fucking plaza? It kind of seems like it is. Gate control? Maybe not. I just don't understand those buttons. They don't seem to do a whole lot. And then there's a bunch of these color TVs. There's some green shit on the floor. It's the orange color again. Oh, is that the batter? Oh, okay. So when I flip that, it's uh, that's what that does. All right. That's why it said one out of three in the other place then. Hold on. A YouTube video called One. that face again. Oh, Nathan Stewart. So we have Gary Wilson and Nathan Stewart. I'm guessing we're only going to get the right side. We need to fucking... we actually gonna have to, like, find all of these, record them, and stitch. Yes, there are two, Venny. Cause of death? If there are three parts, then that must mean the walrus's route has this, the left side. Right? Because if you have to stitch it, 
with three videos, and it would make sense to have one per path. Is this a bad time to say I don't know how to <laughs> stitch a fucking video? They just play them all together. Um, oh. Me after Whataburger drive through 40 minute line, and there's onions. Gary Wilson was found broadside beach, staff kitchen. Gary Wilson? Is the goose. Okay, that makes sense. Was broken in many different areas. It was talking about how he got his face in the fucking oven. Oh, separate. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Should be the same length. Screenshot the relevant. I could do that. There's a variety of exciting ways I could tackle this problem. And it makes sense because this is the goose's route. So. Yeah. Do you like that video of the person's face being smashed? Yes. It does make a lot of sense. Link to the other video? No, I should probably save these. Oh, that would make sense. I mean, I could just go get it. I should. Um... got so much shit to write. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What did I close? Shit. Okay. Website that claims to stitch videos online. Beaten to death by Bunny Gary, face smashed it and then burned by a bear. Yeah, I guess. Okay, no, the beaver killed Olivia. I think Gary must have been killed by the bunny because that one video of the bunny being violent was in the the route in the first layer with Gary. What were those suggested? OBS browser. I have no idea. Um, I guarantee you my actual suggestions are much worse. So that lines up with the idea of three killers. Bucky is the one doing all these murders? I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know how you explain away the video of, like, uh, the blue guy standing outside of the window. I guess it could be the lighting. I don't know who the vandal's supposed to be. It did seem like Bucky killed Olivia, for sure. But the video... Oh, oh, wait. What the fuck? What are these? This... Almost looks like the walrus. It was also in that area with uh, Mark's audio tape, and there's a door. Okay. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to get in there. Scooby-Doo statues are weird. They sure fucking are. It's also interesting that for all of the little rabbits, like Doom and Gloom... We have not encountered a single hostile in any of this Layer 3 shit. Like, nothing. Maybe when you charge the battery, that's when it happens. Okay, so the thing we don't understand, or at least I don't understand, is this. It must... Hold on. Does it have to do with these tables? Maybe not. Bet they come when you open the gate. This is like a game dev thing. This is like textures, like the gate. 
some sort of like uh yeah this is unreal engine i guess i didn't know what it looked like until now hmm It must be that fucking video with the volcano, right? There may be a color cipher going on. There could be. There definitely could be. There's this. What the fuck is that? Have we seen that particular image before? That, that's probably the dude's face, right? After he got burnt? God, this is so fucking... Dude, I don't like this guy sitting here like this. <laughs> please go away ralph please go maybe there's a clue missing there could be it might be a wise idea to explore the other routes can you jump up there it doesn't look like it curse of little man oh my god no curse of little man Fuck little man. Scrappy Doo probably grew up and he became a mass murderer. He literally pisses himself with excitement. He's not cursing anyone, dude. He's a little rodent. But there actually wasn't a single enemy in this lair. There's gotta be. He gave us a code to get out of a jail. In the event that there are enemies and things spawn and follow us around. There's no way there's not a fucking enemy of some sort. Is the little man our chihuahua? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try this again. Let me get my, uh... The notepad! I closed my fucking notepad! Arr, nar. Hold on. It should be saved. I hope. Steam apps, common. Should have this on my desktop instead of the fucking game folder. That wouldn't be smart and make sense. Okay, give me just a second. I'm going to try to count this out, figure out what the code should be. That's probably not right. Is it? Okay. All right. So if you're confused, basically this little recorder earlier played a, I mean, I'll show you. There's a puzzle variety in this game where you have to take the music, find out what notes play, lay them out, count how many of each note, um, and that's your code, basically. There was a thing earlier that said the code was E, F, G, 9, so the E notes, the F notes, the G notes, and the 9, so 9449. Four, nine. Uh, thank you for getting the notes. That would be really hard for me to do myself. I appreciate you. 
I definitely could. That would be such a nightmare. What the fuck? Okay. Was that on the TV? What do you fucking mean? I didn't see shit. On the screens? Oh, holy fuck. That's Olivia. That's Olivia. The other one was, was uh, Gary after he died. This is Olivia after she drowned. What the fuck? Was it a timer? I'm not sure. So happy I scrolled down so I didn't see the screen. I mean, we've seen that image before, just not colorized. So then, this. It seems like unless I am just... Both routes, I've gotten two-thirds of the puzzle. This one appears... To require knowledge of what the color orange is in the color uh, cipher. The other one... I'm not sure what the fuck was going on with the Gary's route. But it's interesting that I've solved uh, two out of three and two out of three routes. That would strongly suggest to me that I would need to get the other one. But we're at the end of day five. I'm not sure how we would manage that. someone watching you maybe we were counting days yeah I ended up fucking myself by letting it go on too long button on back a PC which one oh, you mean this one over here the front it opens a uh, it opens the video that you need to stitch what's this game about it's complicated <laughs> it's a very very uh, intricate puzzle game that's the simplest way to describe it as ARG elements you have to use ciphers. You have to like go through like websites, YouTube channels. Um, it seems to be about the development of a game that got pulled in 1997 that involved the murder of several of the people participating in the game. Uh, that seems to be what's happening here. I think it's safe to say Mr. Walrus is dead. Keypads for the last buttons have those blue house tables near them. Yes, that's why I think I'm missing something. It's weird that these are everywhere, right? It could be six. Maybe the big thing is supposed to be representative of something else. It just doesn't make sense in the context of this color puzzle because there's fucking... Unless... I don't know. Teal equals six? Maybe, but they've been other things before. Maybe in this it's six, six, three, eight? Mm -mm. I think that maybe 
maybe it's seven because there's seven objects, but I feel like the bigger one should count for more. I don't know. I, I definitely am of the opinion that we're going to figure something out. Like, we're gonna... I, they've been pretty good at explaining things. I think we just need to do the walruses route. I don't really want to, like, try to brute force things, you know? It's also suspicious that the color orange seems to be correlated with this armless rabbit fuck. If we assume that that means the rabbit is responsible for what this color pertains to, then we definitely don't have it. I really feel like this is structured to be set up in a way to where we have to do all three routes. I didn't, Chumpsy. There's also that flip table with the grass texture on it. That is weird, huh? Flip table equals zero. It could be seven, seven, three, zero. Hold on. No, yeah. But there's no zero on the fucking thing is the problem. Does green have a number from the gallery? It could be. I guess that's green. That's a weird interpretation. But that the other objects have been green. That's true. It's pretty smart. Okay. So then it would be what? Seven, seven, three, eight? Mm -mm. So if this is if this is meant to be taken it, we could try six six three eight. Cause it could just be the number of houses. I am going with my gut. I am going to say, do you hear that? Uh-oh. I'm going to say that we should probably see what the walrus route has. We need to do it anyways. There's no way around it. Um, we are now midnight on the final day and everything appears to be fucked. I think we might be too late. I'm about ready to start a new one too. I haven't seen this end. Wasn't this in the video? Yes. Can you believe this entire stream we've been doing the same run the whole time? There's been zero restarts. You'll save them all next run? I mean, I could try. There's a lot. Wait. This is very similar. Hello, Genso. Yeah, it reminds me of Olivia's ending with different colors. Okay, 
it see we've made so much progress yet it feels like we really haven't made that much at all huh <laughs> there's still so much okay I want to figure out the walrus and the rest of Sandy's stuff. Also, this is the thing at the beginning. Wait. See, the fucking gallery. There's something fucked with this. I feel like this has to tie to those gates. The secret that's unlocked. Yes, that should be secret too, I would imagine. Or three, excuse me. I think we had two. Giovanni Animation Showcase. There's still two to get. All right. Walrus content, I guess. The walrus still looks like giant tits to me. I'm right there with you. Don't worry. So, 02 20, 1996 could matter? Yes, it could. All righty. You ready to start a new one, brothers? Brain so good, you'd have swore she went to college. I want to figure out the rabbit. Not yet. There's a lot of shit I want to figure out. There's so much. Like the coconut mini game buildings, the rabbit, the walrus. Goodbye, Chumsy. Anything else to find in the remake? It's possible. She duking on my university till I graduate, yeah? Funny how deeper than you think was meant literally is in the depth of the layers. I mean, it's definitely... Yeah. Um... That's true, and there's also a possibility it was meant as, like, uh, if you get stuck in the fucking... That you go to the new version of the game and it's largely the same, there really is more to it. What the fuck? I... I'm... Is this a... I recognize one of those words, and it's not a nice word. Thank you, boy next door, for the six-month resub. What's up, dude? Wait, do you see it? It's very difficult. There is something on that big-ass black building on the right side on the top. Right, you got eyes, bro? What are we going to do when... <laughs> what are we gonna do when doing all of these paths is just the start? Another disconcerting thing to keep in mind is we have no idea how to get over there to the windmills. No fucking clue. Not the faintest idea. There's just so much. I need a jetpack upgrade. Trailer have some 2D section. You ever get to that debug room? No, I haven't. I'm gonna try to do that now. Let me see if I can. I'm just not 100% sure what the conditions for opening that gate are. Please don't kill me this run. Do Gary's route before Olivia. Fail wolf three times. Good night, Splitting. Yeah, there's just so many things to try, right? 
it's possible this won't open unless I've saved one person. Failing Molten War? Yeah. Alright, let's go get fucking diddled by a Wendigo. What could possibly go wrong? Keep in mind, this area has like a hidden sky castle. With a giant version of the Wendigo out in the fog. What? Yeah, I mean, I guess I can go look at it really quick. Just to show you. It shouldn't take too long to get to. Actually, never mind. I have waited out the timer before. Nothing happened. Throw out I see. Nice one, dummy. Well, don't be a coward. Go back in there. Don't leave till you get what you need. You know, actually, hold on. I do have an idea for what that code could be. It's not a good idea, but it's an idea. I'm just not sure where the keypad is. This place all kind of looks the same to me. The bunny did have like a thing that said 7418 is a password that hasn't been used as far as I can recall. Wouldn't make a ton of sense to be here, but it's worth a shot. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm ready for my kisses. Kissies. Wasn't it the lock cell? Yeah, I guess it was, huh? Just haven't even been there. Like, that's why I feel like there's still so much, dude. We haven't even gotten kidnapped and put in jail. What are the ghost people for? I actually need to try... The Goose. Like, killing him early to see if his little ghost pops up as well. What if something happens if you have both of them and you enter the Walrus's Dam area? Because if you think about it, in that one room where the three paths connect right before the final layer, the first one, like it goes in order. We unlocked the left side first, which was Olivia, then the middle, which was the goose, and the walrus is the one all the way on the opposite end. So that's an idea. Maybe nothing to it, but... There's got to be something to do with the, uh, the fuckers, you know? What if you get eaten while holding a boat part? Holy shit. I think that is an absolute confirmation that the way forward is not necessarily doing something specific, but just literally losing on purpose in all of these. This is where the walrus was, too. This is that tunnel. You gotta wonder, then. What happens if you do Olivia's and you don't kill her? Hey, Bucky, what are you doing here? Answers, isn't it? You want answers? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's nothing for you here. I'd feel bad if you left empty-handed, so I'll give you a little treat. Check it out in someone else's level. I'm busy, though, so please leave me be. It's got to be. It has got to be the... This also, if we fail three times, it opens the rabbit. Okay, so in the final version of the route, almost assuredly, we die three times there first. That is the right move because it unlocks not only the rabbit, but something in someone else's level. I'm guessing the walrus area where you jump up on the top and there's just like a fucking boat and a button. There's something there. 
Missing both arms? Yeah, I mean, that's just him. That's what he does. Now, there was a YouTube video we watched at the beginning of the stream that showed a, uh, a secret. I don't remember exactly where it was, but you jump up here and then, like, jump into the fucking wall. What about failing this level? That's true, too. I, I could definitely fail this level. Can I pause this? I cannot. It's somewhere up here. Like, there's a jump up here you make. I'll watch the video again, because I don't... I didn't pay super close attention to exactly where you jump, but I'm convinced there's something to it. Those illusory walls flicker. Maybe, maybe I have to fail here. It's definitely possible. So in the meantime, I suppose I can look out here. Because this place really feels like there's more to it. Maybe it opens after failing, like the kitchen? Maybe, yeah. Lots of crystals. And we know now from deep... Layer 3 lore that there's some sort of mineral that turns people into fucked up things. Okay, buddy. You go gather some paint. Then I'll get right to drawing. Alright. It's so funny how, like, failing everything is what you're supposed to do. It's literally what I said, like, earlier on in the first stream. Like, there's, you can make things hella easy just to give people, you know, the impression that they're good at the game and they wouldn't think of intentionally failing it. Hold on. Let me see where I can, I can look at this video. It's like recorded in a shitty fucking... A god awful camcorder, so. Okay, so he jumps up here, he jumps up here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm following. I feel like that was pretty close to where I was jumping. It could also be a specific way of failing. Because re remember, with Olivia, you, like, beat her to death, right? I don't know for a fact if that would uh, count. But maybe, I remember last time, I kind of pondered what would happen if I did, like, I let his easel stay up, but I just didn't provide him with pain. So maybe I have to fail it in a, a certain way for something to happen. Because that would be, like, nobody fucking would do that, right? Like, that's nonsense. The dumbest thing I've ever heard of. No, it just fails all the same, huh? Okay. I gotta find this fucking room. This video is just so difficult to make out. Oh. Well. Oh. And now he's fucking gone. I guess it's probably because it's nighttime. 
Okay. The debug room. That has to exist, right? There it is. I told you about that fucking noise that started playing. Something underground. I don't know if there's anything to this. Because it just started playing for no reason. Where is it coming from? You think that maybe we can find the location? I believe it persists from area to area. It doesn't stop when you change zones. Maybe get to the diner. I think you should try to find it. I agree with you. I just hadn't really considered it being... I don't know. It felt like a too spooky 5U noise that just occasionally happens. What is this game about? It's a long story, bro. It's very elaborate, even though it appears to be some, like, random platformer. Why is this open now? That's only open previously when the otter has died. I guess if you... It's just failing at one set of quests. Okay, he doesn't have anything new to say. Obscure. It's not that it's obscure. It's just, you know, I've explained it a lot, honestly. And I feel like even when I explain it, it doesn't make any sense. You gotta just, like... I don't know, dude. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be an asshole. It's just very complicated. The short story long, I guess, is that it's a it's a weird murder mystery N64 game. Hmm. I don't want to hear this noise anymore. It's just so bizarre that it happens and there's just nothing anywhere. Kind of making me want more Pringles. Any idea what caused it last time? Literally nothing. It happened as soon as I loaded into the game. Imagine it is gummy worms on a hot day and you forgot them in the car. Yeah, you just got back from like a day at Six Flags and there's like melted gummy candy in the car that's been in 105 degree weather all day and you're just trying to eat it and it's just... I need to think about what I'm going to do now. Thinking someone cutting off the bunny's arms. Fail every route. That seems like what you ultimately want to do, yeah. I'm just trying to think of uh, ways that they could in like influence like each route. And then it stopped when I went in here. How bizarre. It's 
thing the wolf gave you for failing? He said it was something in one of the levels of the other characters. I suspect that it's the walrus's level for a couple of reasons. I guess we'll go try his. Everything's been something. Yeah, I just don't know. Walrus? I mean, it is and it isn't. Like, you're right, because we've done the other ones. But I've seen a lot of shit in there. Bucky, thank goodness. Bad weather. All right. What if he put the fucking Wendigo in? All right. So let's look for differences. So normally, you can't go up here. I'm pretty... No, I can now. Interesting. Weird. So this is the thing about the walrus's level. There is a button over there. And there's a boat. But I don't know. It's No, this isn't new. I, we, we saw this earlier. It is... It has been... Wait. But... I'm just not sure what to do with it, right? Walk out to it. Um, even if that were the case, like, that particular one was too low. There's an invisible path. Press the... Oh, my God, you're right. Oh, my God, this changes everything. Holy shit, okay. I'm having a lot of trouble here. Wait, can I climb up this? No, it doesn't look like it. The color puzzles, perhaps. Okay. Finally, what do you mean, finally? Not gonna turn dark anymore? That only starts when you, um... When you finish, when you hit the first switch. Those gates there last time, yes, but you switch them off. Is man up top glow? No, and you can see... It's... I, it's one of the fucking, uh, wall, like the re-dead brown guys, for sure. Like, I can see him pretty well from here. That's It's one of those fucking statues that have appeared a couple of times. How interesting. What the fuck? I mean... Hmm. What the fuck, dude? This game is insane! Oh, oh! Okay. YouTube video. That's different, isn't it? 
The arrangement of the wheels in there was different. I'm pretty sure. This is different too. There's no fucking gate on this side. No, there is. Never mind. It was just the angle, I guess. The parts bin is still there. I might be stupid. Are we supposed to be scared? Anything in description? Um, no. Just that it was uploaded in March of 2023. Can you walk to the boat? I think I can. But there's weird shit going on here. If you can walk to the boat, presumably you, you leave, which would mean that this is one of, like, the only one that you wouldn't have to, like, intentionally fail a bunch of times. I already tried that Valkuma. There didn't seem to be anything to it. So far, the Wolfo vision has proved to be absolutely worthless. In this level, at least. Okay, let's try the boat. That's not what I'm trying to do. Come on, dog. Holy fuck, that jump. That was weird, wasn't it? Maybe it reveals things when the lights are off. That's not a bad idea. You can do like a fucked up uh, sprint jump. So well, I think the invisible wall there disappeared. The button might have been the incorrect choice. What? I'm trolling. I'm sorry. But we do need to fail this level three times because literally every single thing has had a reward for failure. Something must have changed now, though. Well, we got the YouTube video. You can see the boat through the wall. Interesting. I wonder if I can do it. He's, he said the, lev the levels that you're in with the... Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't think I can use it in the town area is what I'm trying to say. Just these little mini-game levels. Strange not to have our follower. Well, for now, she's still alive, regrettably. Okay. It doesn't seem to do anything whatsoever when you use the night vision in that uh, darkness state. How do you fail this one by getting hooked? Yes, but there is something I would like to try first. To visit the different spots in the video to trigger something? Maybe. Definitely didn't do like a close analysis on the video or anything like that. But it's different. Like this room is different. There's like a... Oh, there's our friend the walrus. Shit. Vertical wheel. Yeah, the vertical wheel was interesting. I wonder if it's like a... You think there's like a... Okay, no. I was gonna see if there was an inv It was there, but invisible. Wasn't that door locked last time? I'll show you what the gimmick with that door is. So 
so what you well hold on a moment that one almost looks like a better version of borderlands animation so you go through here oh well maybe not i'm not sure then but usually when you go through here it's not locked anymore not sure what changed. Kill me! We gotta fail now. I'm really good at failing, so I think this should be easy. And now it's midnight. Yeah, we can't use the wolf thing here. No night vision. So it's just the coconut level. Um, oh, fuck. The rabbit level. God damn it. Maybe I can get back to the rabbit, but I failed three times, so I'm guessing not. I, I, I'm pretty sure once you fail three times, it's just Jover. Does the menu have respawn? Let me look in a sec. Some of this shit kind of feels like Outer Wilds, where it's like, simply, uh... Simply go ahead... And drop the lantern and then leave. And you just feel like an asshole. <laughs> you just feel like a fucking idiot, dude. God, it was there the entire time and it took me that fucking long. What is wrong with me? Okay. The wolf is gone, and so is the rabbit. Hmm. One thing that's interesting is the only mini game that you can fail uh, and actually lose is the Vandals mini game at the end, the one where you run through the volcano. God, now I'm gonna have to like play through every level with this fucking night vision. I fail. Yeah, I'm going to go fit, be like a complete, like, dog shit, idiot, doo-doo, stinky, feces head on the walrus minigame. It's my birthday today. Can I get a birthday song? Sure. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! Dear Castle, happy birthday to you. That's interesting. Normally, you have to press a button. I guess it's just because the first time I did it and revealed the gimmick. That probably happened on my first ever playthrough. Again. Again with this shit. You're the mission man? I can, but I'm... Now I'm convinced... Something fucked is afoot. I don't think so, Sidear. Doing his event makes the eating stop. What is the eating, man? The fucking cat eating the ruffles. What the fuck, bros? 
My cat's a very loud eater. Please forgive her. I'll think about it. I'm just going to fail this. Maybe there's something to it. If it's a chewing noise, maybe if we unlock the diner and that ends up happening again. Because the only place we've seen a character being consumed is in the diner. One of the rabbit's arms is there. So... I don't know. Uh-oh. Wait. Wait. What? Did that happen before? That was the walrus gimmick. Maybe it's a poultry geist? Maybe. Use the vision. Where is this place? to watch this dude get wombo comboed it did happen in olivia's area that yeah i'm just not sure oh right i forgot about this The coconut game absolutely has several secrets. It's the worst one. I know what you're talking about with the trailer. We found that. It was a button that opened a web page. Um, but there's more there. Hmm. I think that should be the end of day one, right? Now I kind of want to, I want to do the, the squirrels because I'm, I don't know. Is it the actual human body instead of the goose body? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. What's the walrus loss video? What about the walrus? Well, his, it felt like. To pay off our debts for the crash, I'm not great at finding things. All right. The nighttime thing didn't happen again. Hold on. So she shows up as an enemy too. Yes, look. We don't get hooked. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Sorry, I got scared. Yeah. 
What could it mean, Pegasus sisters? She had no eyes when you did wolf vision. That means we're gonna have to do a run where we fuck the walrus up and then go to everyone else's level because apparently... God, man. Okay, so the order in which you kill them matters a lot. I don't know if that's this is important, but this is awfully fucked. Makes you wonder what things happen from killing Olive. Wow. This game continues to impress, huh? Did we get years for when the others died? That would actually starts a new game. I haven't seen anything from the crow either. Okay. I got over the fence. Is the burning house in the door here? No, this is where the burning house was prior and the door was on the side of this building. Okay, I have an idea though. We're gonna have to actually platform here. Remember, it said there was a there's a YouTube video we watched uh, last stream that showed one of these had like a secret over here. Okay, now this is starting to get annoying. I don't remember exactly where it was, but I feel like I'm, I'm in the approximate location. I don't really want to... I don't re Oh, what the fuck? That was weird looking. Oh, ah, shit. Okay. Damn it, I fucked that up. So... Oh, Jesus, man. I need a building hop this bitch. Come on, please. I don't have that much time, bro. I'm not sure I can make it over there. Can I get up there normally? I might have to use that fucked up, like, Naruto Jujutsu Kaisen technique thing that we learned. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was what? Replicating that might be a bitch. No, I mean the one where you like, you triple jump, wall hop sort of thing. So a glowing eyed freak. I think that was the bitch. Sorry, the squirrel. -ch. But really quickly, I want to look at that video again. She wasn't there when the lights came on. That's just like your opinion, man. Alright, so this is the video. God damn it. Oh. 
Okay, that's not as high up as I thought it was. That's where you jump along, right? Okay. So in the wall? Yeah, it's somewhere there. It could also be that those things don't appear until you fail multiple times. That's something I hadn't really considered, is it maybe isn't something I have to specifically do, but when you start failing and the level starts fucking up, those places spawn. Okay, well, let's try it again. And we still have to fail the walruses level for the third time. In fact, let's go do that now. Let's do that now because that fucking, like, horrible spooky lasagna shit is, is really kind of a hindrance. I would prefer if it didn't happen when I was trying to platform. As impactful as it was the first time, I don't, I'm done with it. I want to keep watching, but it's also really late and I have work in the morning. But I'm also too scared to sleep right now. I need to fail the rabbits as well. We did. We did. Wait! What the fuck? That was a, a shameful place to die because something interesting was happening there. Hmm. No. No, I don't like this. No, no thank you. Third fail. So we failed the rabbit. We failed the wolf. We failed the goose. The squirrel is the only one. Okay, now here's the big problem. I don't think we're supposed to fail the walruses. Think about it. Unless there's only one way that that makes sense. Because there's two of these cipher doors that lead to the pool... And the diner respect respectively, right? Unless this one opens from the walrus. Maybe. Let me see. Disregard that I suck cock. I forgot. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's still the fucking boat in the other one. This feels like a decent place to save. But we still have the squirrel. What do you mean, midnight? Fuck off. Was it midnight before? Am I just not paying attention? I feel like it wasn't. We were robbed. I mean, we still got two days. Pretty sure it was 4 p.m. Yeah. Bucky went and murdered someone during the door loading screen. I'm surprised the walrus's, like, third fail screen was the way that it was. The other two were pretty, uh, pretty involved how hard they were getting fucked up. Then what is the vandal, then? If Bucky's the one killing everybody... I don't know, dude.
Vandal. No, Vandal's definitely the mole rat thing. He's like his own his own asshole. We haven't seen him in a while. He appears in game. His name is JD. Okay, so this is still happening, even with the walrus being out of the picture. What is this? Why is this like lit that way? I think it's a time based thing, this wall. Beat her a tussy. I'm not beating anyone's a tussy. Bro, what? I hope when you beat this game, you get an exclusive Bucky skin in Fortnite. That would be sick. I'm game for that. That sounds awesome. Jumping off when it's nighttime do anything? I mean, he is a walrus, so maybe he eats me. Maybe he's just waiting down there, lusting, craving my McNuggies. Red circles is where to jump through for the spot. Maybe, but I feel like I always jump this way. It could be. If that were the case, then the spot would be like right here, right? Well, maybe. Yeah, I guess so. I could have sworn I went over this way, though. But yeah, I guess you're right. I grabbed onto something, at least. I'm sorry for hitting you, dude. It was fucked up of me. Now I can't get it. Where the fuck was this? God damn it. Hold on. Yeah, it was like right here. Huh? Huh? What? This is this fuck. Yeah, it is the building. But, like, what the fuck? Why can I not get over here? Wait. I'm not sure, bros. This mystery still eludes me, it seems. That was a fucked up looking coconut with the dark vision. Maybe I do just have to open all the chests. Okay, so it was pointing over here. What's over here? I have 16 seconds. Because there was that little ditty about the chest in that one audio log. The, I love coconut, Kungo. Dude, oh my god. Coconut chocolate, coconut ice cream, coconut shrimp. Oh. I thank you for the 62 months, Sheena. What's up? Have you seen this game? Something about us being dates. Just 
I think this game's awesome. One of the best horror games I think I've ever played. One of the best puzzle games, too. It's just extraordinarily fucking cryptic. I think I've done an alright job of getting through stuff, though. I think it's all Bucky. Yeah, Bucky's not very nice. Do you think she was okay? No, we saw her fucking, uh... We saw her dead in layer three. Wait. What the fuck? Okay, so you notice something now, right? I think this happened last time, but I guess one of the fucked up effects of this level, once you fail it, is... Um, well... All of the trees disappear. No coconut, no coconut. Well, this isn't it either. I can't get over it. Dude, this is fucking making me so sad. I really don't understand what the deal with this fucking wall is. Uh, no, Robot Mom, I don't, I don't... We didn't do it. Oh... Oh, I have so many ideas now. Is there a special coconut you needed? Wait, 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 wait. Drop the fucking... Hold on. What the fuck is this? Was this here before? What do the mirrors mean? Well, it could be because that one part of of the walrus route where you just fucking, uh... Interesting. It's here. It's here. That person doesn't look familiar. I realize now... It, maybe that's a noose, or maybe it's a hook. Is that the walrus? I think maybe. It's hard to tell, though. All right. I know. What? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I know the code for this, actually. Because I looked at that fucking uh, YouTube channel description, and one of them had an interesting fucking uh, description. I still haven't watched the videos, but I clicked on them for descriptions. Let me see if I can find it. It's saying it's bedtime. 8439 You Can Stop Time is a description from the Love of Twigs video. Since it's unlisted, I'm assuming it's fair game to look at these videos. Because the a lot of them have been unlisted. So... And now it, I got another video. It linked me another fucking video. I guess we should watch it. 
We've seen that clock. I knew it! Time will no longer flow. All right. Okay. What does that... Is that a good thing? I think that might have been a good thing. E time equals false. Yeah. Hmm. Still 1 p.m. It sure is. Game volume? Yeah, yeah, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Fucking breaking your ears, brothers. I apologize. Oh. Hold on. Wait. So I thought of something immediately that was stupid but made me realize something. You know, we've been seeing these ovens pop up in the level and walrus flash. She must be the only one that... Her thing is the fucking apparition. I thought maybe that if it's 1 p.m. and she always shows up at 1 p.m., then this is how you get all of the doppelgangers to show up. But I realize there aren't other doppelgangers yet. yet. Like, that hasn't happened. We haven't seen any of the other fuckers show up as, like, weird-ass ghosts. It was only her, and she had no other apparent effect other than that, which would explain why she wasn't like a hostile monster that tried to kill me. I miss Stumbler. I hate that little fucker, dude. Alright, so now... The mirror is no longer there. So funny to think this is how the entire rabbit hole started. Yeah. My natural aggressive tendencies led to some pretty big revelations. Oh, wow. I just realized that gigantic fucking building back there. That's the windmills. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I can't do the special vision on this level. It's one o'clock again. So in retrospect, that one bit where we like kind of clipped through the fucking fabric of the world and landed by that door was even more lucky than initially thought because not only was it a bug that solved a puzzle for me essentially, it was on the third iteration of that where the fucking house and the, uh, the door were active. There's always a beaver, there's always a windmill. Oh. However, I have bad news for you, brothers. I'm hungry. No? What do you mean, no? You can't? This is perfect. We get to stop the... Uh, stop being fat. I haven't eaten today, dude. I'm. If you have eaten at all, you are more fat than me right now. My balls have a good one. Biology strikes again. Please cease. It's because I want... We can pick it up tomorrow. 
We can pick it up tomorrow and we start right at the dam and it gives people time to catch up. Just ask mom to cook something. Let me get the fucking Ouija board, bro. I don't think Walmart's 24-7 anymore, so I might have trouble procuring one. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm... That's, that's an option. Uh, I'm not looking for fucking uh, ectoplasm etouffee either. I'm not in the mood. I kind of want a burger. Time to hit up Amazon. Need to watch this? Yeah, yeah, this is a good time to stop. There's an entire other route we unlocked. We solved hella shit. Made hella progress. Um, that means that we can start directly with new shit. Like at the beginning of the stream. Because if I progress too much farther here, I might get stuck. And then I end while I'm stuck, right? That would be no fun. Did you save? I probably should. You're right. I'm looking forward to this too. That's why we're going to play again tomorrow, okay? Let's, let me find the save point. Slap an ass. Mm. We still need to watch all of those goddamn YouTube videos too. I think I'm just going to have to say fuck it. And watch all of them tomorrow before we start playing. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Uh, good night. Take it easy.